Sounds so quick has been fair and a gloom and a broken smiles oh no this is the time every chance led into this to this night to this thrill we're gonna be Oh. Uh -huh. 
Bonsoir, good morning, good afternoon, hello everyone. Welcome to uh, session 15 of Throwing Top Sounds. How is everyone doing? How's everyone uh, vibing? How's everyone's weekend been? And uh, you got anything cool coming up? Or done anything exciting this week? What's up? I'm going to turn the music just down a tidge. Bonsoir, hiya Mac. Hiya Huntress. Thank you for uh, stopping by and I hope uh, you do learn some things uh, from, this, uh, from this session. Um, and if you if, if you don't learn anything mechanically, maybe you'll learn of the fun that is this amazing tabletop that I, me and my players both put our hearts into. D and D was cancelled today. Oof, I'm so sorry to hear. But hopefully uh, this will this will help fill in that little uh, that little hole. Also, how you doing, Avril? Hi hi, hi seasonal bard. And also hello uh, hello Rio and hi Colin. How you guys doing? And also thank you Reckless Attack and Young for retweeting us for you both beans. Um, I'm still just doing some quick little prep uh, setup things because I forgot to do something. Uh, it'll be just hopefully five more minutes. Thank you for the follow, Huntress. You're an absolute star. Thank you. I've been great. Oh, hello, Kaz as well. How you doing? I'm great, homie. And as far as um, and as for what I'm doing, I'm doing some fun. Oh, I I saw some. I haven't had the chance to comment on it in the Discord, but I think it looks really cool, and I'm excited to get a better look after the session. Hopefully. Yeah, I should do that too. Oh, doing some arts. But yeah. Um. Oh, you mean prep? <laughs> but yeah, we got some actually a really fun, exciting session. Uh, we're gonna recap just before we get started. Um, once I finish prepping, we're gonna play the intro scene, and then we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna meet the players. Um, if you haven't already met them, and then we're gonna we're gonna jump straight into the session. But yeah. I'll see you guys in a second. Thank you guys for stopping by, and if you've been lurking or watching the vods, you're also a star. Thank you. See you guys in a bit. Also, thank you, Seasonal Bot, for the retweet when you do. Thank you. Thank you. 
Bonsoir. Hello, everyone. Ye. Hi. You meant to say, yeah, but, yeah you say hello, Sam. <laughs> 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 Let me change everyone's level uh, level thingy with Chiggies, because everyone's uh, leveled up. Uh, they're going hey. for level. Um, Nico is now level three, and uh, Low Pipe is now level four. Um, <laughs> let me just see if that worked the way I think it did. Perfect, it did. All right, so yeah, we've got the map. Um, oh, All right, we got to remember how to, how we did that. Oh, there we go. All right, so yeah. <laughs> Hello, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hi. Let me let me zoom in, and then we'll introduce our uh, our cast. Uh, by the way, I'm Kaz. I'm the DM. Uh, I'm the little blue boy in the corner. Uh, next is Georgia. Georgia, tell Hi. us about you and your character. Uh, I play Lonico, who is a 15-year-old human bard of creation. Um, yeah, mostly plays the shamazin, sometimes the flute. Uh... <laughs> yeah, she's now a bard of creation. Um... By the chat, if the levels are a bit low, please let me know, and I shall adjust. Uh, drawing the map is our very own Sam, who, well, drawing the uh, his map of the area that he's exploring is Sam. Sam, tell us about your character. Hi, I'm Sam, or uh, Tenfi Eighty Y, also known as Lofi Boy, and I'm. Oh wait, uh, Loniko. Yeah. Did you say what <laughs> class you were? Yes, I did. did. Yes. I'm sorry. I totally spaced <laughs> out. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, you even said about instruments. Oh, anyways. <laughs> so, I a very charming, not very charming, negative charisma because of like situations like these. But <laughs> um, so I'm a wild magic barbarian, just hit level four and ready to hit some monsters. Mm. Yeah. Um. Recapping last session. By, oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, 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 go yep, yep. Yeah. By monsters, I meant Kira. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. No! <laughs> Recapping uh, last session, uh, the party were exploring the sewers of Isoto. Um, uh, with time, the wandering homeless man who has a pet dog that they, uh, that they have befriended. And uh, walking through the sewers to search uh, to find out what's going on with the yokai that are like lurking through the cities. They've uh, been searching, uh, they've been exploring the sewers and uh, came across a bunch of anomalies such as strange skeletal samurai, uh, skeletal crystal samurai, and also a uh, chimera down in the, uh, the depths of the sewers. And um, with a very climactic, dramatic and tense fight, the, the party were able to escape and get rid of some of the uh, the Crystal Samurai and Yokai themselves and uh, ended the session with time leaving, uh, having taken the Chimera away and uh, finding it somewhere else in the sewers and uh, leaving the party at the end of um, a what would be a dead end but um, at the opening of another cavern uh, being reunited with a uh, an angry tiefling that uh, they may recall from a while back. Also, Sam, we can see you, uh, <laughs> you and Wiki Dot. Um, oh, really? Yeah, I think you're sharing your your whole screen. I was supposed to select the other thing. Well, let me redo that. No worries. Um, and uh, along with the this angry uh, tiefling, a uh, young woman, there was a Earth Genasi woman who uh, was uh, with her. Who's just a, a head taller than her, uh, and they ended the session with Lonico waving down at them, and they waved, or oh, um, the Earth Genasi waved back. And I think <laughs> the, uh, I believe, uh, the Tiefling also did give a reluctant wave at the end. Yeah. Best friends. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna put you guys over onto the um, we're gonna sh we're gonna show the handout for the that location. We're going to change the music if I find what I'm looking for. By the way, is the Clip Studio thing working properly now? Let's see. For the map. It should be mm. now. Yes, it is. Let me see if I click elsewhere now. <laughs> did it do anything? It did not. So you're all good. 
Yeah. I think when I if I if I click on Discord, then it'll be like nah, can't allow that shit. So I'm gonna change oh. the music to uh to the the music of you guys exploring now. Mm -hmm. uh, clear. So I'm gonna set the scene in a second after I put you guys down. I'm gonna get rid of this. We're gonna put you guys over on the uh, sewer map. We'll zoom in over here. Okay. <clears throat> you guys having just explored the sewers, uh oh yeah, it's done the wrong thing. There we go, perfect. You look at, when you look into this tunnel, you can just about see Yeah, it's a steep tunnel that goes downwards. Uh, that looks like been mined out um, by like magic. It's been like it's clearly been transmuted. And if you could give uh, a insight or arcana check for me, while um, sure. while you guys are like walking down the mine, it takes about ten minutes to traverse down the mine. And you like you can but you, you can very clearly see uh, the tiefling and the urchin are see watching you guys come down. And you can see as you get closer the expression of the tiefling just becomes more aggressive and more livid as you guys get closer and closer and closer uh you guys will recall uh, she was um the tiefling woman who uh who came to pick up uh, kiko uh lo and Iko, your uh, friend that you uh, met in the shabbat mines very early on in the adventure and describing the uh, urchinasi woman um She's a, she's a tall, uh, slender urchinosity woman with uh, sharp features and pink crystalline hair that like, shimmers in the light with streaks of gold across her face like uh, that of an orvain. And her clothing, look, it looks to be very similar to, um, to the tieflings, but hers is more traditional with a dragon pattern swirling around it as if it's a motif that uh, she carries through her clothing. And you can also notice, which is, is very, the, next, the first thing you notice when you see this woman, other than her, her hair and... Um, the gold vein across her face you notice the her arms are prosthetics um like immediately you can tell that these are they're too slender to be like uh, wrapped around her arms and like look to be rather muscular though for like what like they, they're designed to look like muscle at the same or look yeah look like muscle um with various like tubing uh coming off of it and um in between uh the, pe the, sh uh, the piece of metal, you can see this, what looks like liquid gold, uh, that um, like energy that flows through the um, through the arms and has a dragon um, scale pattern on those as well. If I... Is it looking more prosthetic or is it... No, yeah, th that's looking all... Like... That's all prosthetics. Huh. Lo, you're gonna... You are almost in awe when you... Um, when you're walking down and you're like you're too busy like focusing on like what you're going to see before you even um before you guys are to like gauge any uh -huh. of the energy coming off uh, but lo-fi boy you oh has the internet done something no no i'm just seeing the map i'm interested oh no because i just saw like my um my things uh circle size I, that looked suspicious <laughs> i think it's um, fine uh, I think I know what just happened. All my like Reddit tabs have just like opened themselves for some reason. <laughs> oh! oh. It, I'm okay, just seeing the tokens the again now. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, you see yours. Well, I'll just take these off the map for a second and zoom in for chat to see. And I'm gonna show you guys a handout of what like uh, the location that you guys can see. Yo. I will describe this in a second once I <laughs> pull all the things on OBS and like make sure that like your map is still visible. Um, yeah, with that twenty Arcana though, you can feel the energy emanating off of the um, the walls, and you like you know this is the same magic that those crystal uh, samurai um, skeletons were carving out of the walls um, and out of the bricks of the sewers. And they're using their new magic. They transmute this very long, smooth tunnel down into what looks like 
the ruins of a city or a village. As you can just see, as far as like your eyes can see, down a cascade with various bits of like lighting displaying, uh, coming off of these strange crystalline um, ores and crystals off the walls, which Lo-Fi will immediately like getting near them, you, they resonate with you and you can, you feel they, and same with you Lonika, you also like realize that these are giving off the same energy that uh, the Shiseki stone that you picked up earlier or at the beginning had. And like you just like, it's just, there's just raw magic emanating from all of these. And, um, and you can just see downhill, there's a bunch of like trees, um, oh, raid. <laughs> Thank you, Joe, for the raid. Hey. Hello, everyone. Welcome, everyone. We're just uh, describing the um, the ruins of ancient Isoto as you guys have walked down into them. If I change the landscape handout to this, how was your uh, how was your session, Joe? And how was all the things? Let's do this. There we are. But yeah, you guys can yeah you can see like there's um. Like going down, you can just see like there's just a bunch of trees. Uh, like it's very strange actually, like because like you feel like you've gone down fit, like quite a bit, but like and you can see that the ceiling above is very cavernous and high, but like and it's very dark in here and like but like there's like you can see the trees do not struggle to grow any and, and amongst all the foliage, the foliage doesn't look like it's struggling to grow, and you can just see the ruins of buildings, all just like going down a hill as uh, it goes deeper into the caves and you can see waters that like look you can just hear running bits of running water here and there and you can hear this strange strange wet feet, uh, footsteps echoing off the wall and strange metallic groaning and chains jingling noises as you guys like get deeper in and like um closer to uh, the two um the two young women and um, if I do a thing I was looking for, yeah, so when you get close, you get the smell of soil, uh, sea salt and smoke and faint traces of metal um, just emanating through the air. And like when you look up, you can see like there's a smog that covers the ceiling and like stalactites peek through those and like veins of um, the, the sh uh, raw shiseki stones are like glowing through this smog and through the darkness. And um, you can just see uh, the ceilings dripping uh, from like uh, little bits of, like stalactites dripping and like uh, vines hanging from above. Um, and yeah, you can just uh, see all like the, uh, the buildings. Look, they all look rather small when you get closer to them. And like when um, they like Lonico, you like you can see one of the doors to one of the buildings and they look about. They like it look like you could comfortably uh, fit through the door, but like low, uh, low far away, it's about hot, it's up to your. Uh, abdomen so you would have to like get very low to the ground to try and get fit through the door and you can see the buildings low are rather sized. short i sorry low sized yeah low si exactly a very cozy low sized uh low sized uh, village uh, or ruins of a village um and you see yeah the two the two women uh they just like look at you and again uh, the tiefling is furious every time she just like looks at lo-fi boy <laughs> Um, and I can't turn her around as long as I do like this. While the other one looks at you with curiosity and just has like a smirk on her face. And you, when you get closer to her, you notice strapped onto her back is a half, like a giant half scissor. Uh, similar to uh, this, if I pull it off. Similar to this. You see that strap. We found the other half. <laughs> strapped to her back. Kira just like, oh sorry, the tiefling just looks at you, and like she doesn't even want to. She doesn't look like she even like wants to say a word to you, and just turns away. <laughs> While the Janasi, ever curious. Hello. Hi. What, hi. What, 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 what are you guys, who, who, what, what, what are you people doing down here? Um, well, you see, we came into the sewers to, uh, 
you know, um, look at the yokai, um, and then we kind of ran this way because of the chimera, um, and our friend went off and distracted it. I, I, I hope he's okay. Um, but hi, Miss Kira, and uh, what's your name? Kira just like turns. And then she just gives us a side glance to uh, the, the Janasi and then looks away again. Uh, looking up the tor uh, the Tori gate here, um, the Janasi uh, looks down at you. My name's... Well, looks up at you because you guys are on an incline. My name's Katsu. <laughs> um, and what was uh, it? Sorry? Katsui. Katsui. Mm. I'll, I'll write it because I know you wanted me to write the letter. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, are you, are you, um, do, do you, do you know Kira? Uh, uh, well, we have met once before, and um, me and her, her sister, um, are friends. Oh, Kiko. Uh, you hear K uh, Kira grumble, something under her, under her mouth. And then uh, Katsumi just turns and just gives like a little smile to her. Hmm. Don't, don't, don't worry about Kira, she is. She's not in a good mood today. Uh, we're actually looking... Is she uh, ever in a good mood? <laughs> Can I just nudge she just her turns. Like the side? <laughs> she just turns to you. <laughs> oh! It looks like you're... you're and I st take a step forward. Oh, your forehead's looking good. Much better than last time. Give me a second, as I don't know why it's not done a thing. Let me just... The game. Uh, you hear a shimmering, glassy, crystalline noise as um as she summons her uh, giant pink crystal great club as she steps up to you. <laughs> but hey, you know, I, I I think we've got on on the wrong foot last time. To you know. You really know who's superior among each other, or I don't, I don't know. To, um, she's just like she could like she's shaking, again. like she like she doesn't even like she's struggling to come with word, come up with words, as she's like just like shaking uh, with her great club in her hand, just dragging it in the, uh, across the ground, ready to like just swing at you. I feel like Lowe's trying to like stand in between them, but she's so much fucking shorter than both of yeah. them that they'd just be looking over her head. <laughs> <laughs> you do see like when uh, when like you when you get uh, step forward, uh, um, Lo Nico Katsumi steps forward as well, and you see her hand. It's very cold when it touches you, uh, being metal, um, and she just like pats you on the shoulder. And she just gives you a nod, and then gets in between Kira as well. And you, and you, the height difference is very evident uh, when when you guys are up close. Aid of a tall person. <laughs> <laughs> and she just grabs Kira by the shoulders and like just like walks her down the hill. Um, we've uh, we're we're looking for Kiko right now, so maybe uh, maybe, maybe... Again. then then she turns to you. What do you mean again? I thought you guys were reunited. Kira's we helped find her. Kiko. We helped find Kiko um, before um, uh, near the temple. Um, she's just gonna like turn to Lo-Fi point and be like, "This isn't the place to start a fight, Lo-Fi boy. Please." I don't know why she's oh. letting you do the thing where like it won't like like stick on the front. Um, I guess I miss. Well, Kira then just, just like explode. I, I, we didn't I lose her. <laughs> she she got taken, and we didn't lose her when you went to rescue her either. So shut up. Uh, um, okay. sure. Whatever rolls she your just, wheels. She just turns to Katsumi and like he's like just looking at her for help, and Katsumi just looking down at her and just like, come, let's 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 go, let's 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 uh. Let's make some space. Miss, Miss Kira, uh, if, I mean, we're, we're here, if she's missing, maybe we can help? Yeah, we're clearly more competent than you. Can I step on those sideways <laughs> yeah, foot? You can. 
as you notice that when Katsumi does turn to you and then looks at Kira. And then she turns back to you, uh, Lonely Con, and then gives you a smile. Of course, you guys can help. Um, what's your name again, uh, little one? Uh, Lonico. Lonico. And what about you, big one? Um, it's actually it starts with a one. So big one is a, a cool nickname, but it's ten fi eighty y. People call me Lo Fi Boy, but big one is funny. Okay, Tin Man. Okay. Come. <clears throat> oh, uh, you're leading us to... Wait. So... It's... Well, we've just, uh, we've we... just got here as well, actually. We've, uh... We've, we've uh... We've just been chasing. Uh, chasing them around. Uh -huh. The, um... The basket hag that was uh, with us. She's um. What's a basket hag? That's me, not Lo. <laughs> she like I, I guess, like I like. Is that love? Are we asking? I uh, know. I I don't know what's at. What's, yeah. Well, both of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's um, it's a companion. Well, companion's a a nicer word. They're just with us for for a bit for for some work. Um, and like, well, we we knew she, we knew she, she something was up. She says as like uh, as they're walking down the hill, and like Kira keeps like looking at Katsumi as if like she's like tr trying to get Katsumi to stop talking, but like she's still just shaking with rage as she keeps turning to Lopi Boy, and gets more and because she wants to just keep an eye on him, but she gets more and more angry as like her hair is swaying aggressively. Well, um, she's um. Yeah, she, I she, make sure to stay like annoyingly behind her so that as soon as she takes a step, I'm like yeah. right up, like taking the step behind her. You actually like you brush against her hair when you do. Actually, you're all stealth for me. So let's see. All y'all do is cause problems. You always do. You know, you're being obvious. <laughs> when you like brush against her, she just fucking turns. Her hair swings, <laughs> slapping you, and like you can hear like her hair. Like, <laughs> her hair is very thick. So when and it's very bristly, and so when it smacks you, like you just like feel like it, like the weight uh, from the swing when she turns as both of her ponytails smack you. What? What? Uh, stop! Stop uh, getting so close to me. Okay, you can just say so. No, no, I don't need to say so. Get away from me. I don't. Well, okay, and then like Lonika wanna switch places, and then Katsumi, tell him. Katsumi. Hello, she she gives you a little nod. She she does also look like there's like a slight like like you're testing her patience as well. But she doesn't like uh she doesn't like she lets like she 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 tries to steal her uh, stealing her expression when she does. Does that. Sam, you're going to make me wish I took calm emotions but not for the NPCs for you. <laughs> <laughs> So, do you guys know anything about these um, stone things that are here? The Shiseki stones? These ones? She uh, Katsumi passes the, uh, this uh, batch here that like you guys are walking past. You notice they give off a crystalline aura that like just like hovers in the air around them and swirls as they like shine and ripple. Yeah. I've never seen ones colored like this before, I think. Well, this is... Have you ever seen a Shizaki stone? Like, they, they, they call me colors like this all the time. Well, I, I used to do some research more with, uh... Well, that's maybe classified information, but... Hmm. Um, other types of Shizaki stones, I'd say? Um... I'm not quite sure. Like... Is it okay before we we go in deeper into this these ruins if I just take a moment to look at them? Yeah, no, sure. Oh, and also, I'm sorry for the smell. I did fall into the sewers. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. No, uh, uh. 
Kira, I'm sorry I was standing next to you. Maybe I guess it was my smell that was annoying you. Um, I'm. I didn't think about that. She's just bubbling in, in just anger in on the spot. As every time, every time she just hears you speak, she just she, she can't. She doesn't even want to look at you. She stops looking in your direction now. Kira, like. Somehow, you're more annoying than time, and I like time, but... <laughs> uh, uh, um, Did you just call me annoying? <laughs> that didn't even make any sense. <laughs> Did you just... I, I guess... I guess I'll take that that little circle thing you did as Lil Nico just staring at me. Um, um <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is that, um... If you gave me a chance, we could be friends, but you gotta. What if gotta I don't want to be a friend? No. What if I don't want to be a friend? You're an, you're annoying, not me. Well, what if I don't want to help find your sister, huh? But that's not the case. And here, I'm actually being friendly. I well, I didn't ask you to help. I didn't ask you to be here. Well, but this isn't gonna help, Kiko. Now, is it? <laughs> Kira. No, Kira, it's okay. They're, they're, they're gonna help. Look, it's 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 Kiko's friend. Lonely. Is it because there. I'm a forged? Is that is that what's happening? No. It's just because you're you. <laughs> and she walks away. <sighs> like, Wolfheimer closes his eyes and like is on the verge of starting like entering rage, but just <laughs> decides to breathe because Lonely Co said to try to not fight but like honestly mm. actually before you guys say anything um chat you are able to use uh, channel points to uh, redeem lair actions and also assist the party if you wish um but yeah back to the um the, the what's it called um yeah katsumi um are you are you uh, investigating the shiseki stones as like you guys are talking or actually i want to take a moment to just go next to them and Touch them or something. Assess. Roll, roll Arcana for me. Are these doorways? That's like a, open doorways. That one's a window. This one is a doorway, though. I am so dumb. I forgot to shut the doors. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like pretend those doors are like just like you. You can swing okay. them open. I twenty two. I'll get back to you. Um, Katsumi just like yeah. As you walk away, uh, Katsumi just turns back to low. As I said, she's she's not in a very good mood. Um, the basket hag was trying to take her away for a while, and we were hoping we'd be able to keep her in check. But at least you, uh, you're here to help. Yes, I'm. I'm sorry about Lo-Fi Boy. Um, he's not the um, best with social situations anyway. But um, mm. yeah, the the. Others of our party didn't part on good terms with Kira. Mm. Um, Is he but... the one that made her cry, uh, Kiko? Uh, uh, uh... It's I okay. Can't I, I, he, uh, <laughs> he did. He did make her he cry. He did, yeah. yeah. Oh. I think when he said he'd kick Kira's ass. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh... Kiko, Kiko might have told me about you guys. Oh. Um, Where's, where, where, well, where are your friends? Could you... The cat one and the the other one. Uh, she points at herself like, like, like me. Oh, well, um, the uh, Rocky, he, um, he's in prison. Um, Pimera couldn't, she didn't want to come into the sewers. Her nose was too sensitive, um, mm. I think. Um, but could you, could you tell me more about this basket hag? I don't think I heard of anything like that before. Well, um, I'll get back to that in a second. With that 22 arcana, uh, Lofa, when you touch the stone, you feel it resonate from within you. You feel a beating pulse as soon as you touch it. And you feel the pulse come from both your hands and also from your core. And like as that's pulsing and beating, you feel your plants all like kind of like grow and move and writhe, um, as if trying to connect itself to the stone. 
And uh, roll me a d100, please. Thank you, Vix. As you guys... I'll, I'll get there. 53. Okay. As, um... As you touch the stone, and, like, you... You feel this, like, yeah. You feel a radiating aura e emanate from it off of you. You, um... Lo, Nico, you see in the window here, you see two tiny little, like... Uh, wisps of uh, yellow spirits peek out of the window and then they look around and then they they catch your eyes and they uh, they catch lo-fi boy's eyes and you see them rush towards both ears you both have inspiration as uh the little tiny yellow spirits ah. swirl around you and then they just jingle and like um sit in your jingle in your uh Amongst your bells and sit in your uh, your uh, bed of plants, uh, Lohai boy. As I do this, and as I do this, um, and then yeah, uh, you also hear Kira like just like stomping away as she's gone, <laughs> as she's walking off. You can just see her like just leave uh, your vicinity. Wait, you got fifty three. Lofa, but you feel as like you are standing there. You feel your like feet like s sinking into the ground, as like you're like almost like frozen in place as you touch the stone, and you feel your body begin to sink, um, feeling roots entangle around your legs, as like you you don't realize time is passing as this is happening. But Lofa, Lonico, you see ah. you see like these roots tangle themselves around uh lo-fi boy's legs <laughs> and then they just Look at that lo-fi boy <laughs> and then they just like pull ah. sorry go on what, what was that drug? i was just gonna be like uh, she, i mean she'd probably like start going over to him and be like uh, lo-fi boy your legs what <laughs> oh yeah no yeah your your legs my legs? Yeah, yeah, look look down. Wait, is there anything? And then I just look down. Oh! Yeah, you you can't turn your body because like, you, are, you are being like... These roots uh, have like entangled themselves and you into the ground. Um, um, okay. Uh, um, I just uh, unsheath the umbrella sword. Mm -hmm. Um, making a glitch in its glitchy fashion. Try to cut away at the at the roots. Yeah. At my feet. Roll for an attack. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, you just slice away at them, and like when they cut open, you they release what looks like like glowing sap and like liquid that is very similar to the color of the like the magic emanating off of a. Uh, the shiseki stone and they they swirl in varying colors and it's extremely vibrant like they just uh swirl and uh swish into different colors and like the liquid does the same giving off a, another bit of crystalline aura as like these roots uh get cut sliced up and as soon as like they like get sliced up and like um as you're released you feel that you see the roots like go back into the ground and the uh, the ground is undisturbed but as fast as that's happening, can you guys see down, uh, down past this bridge? No. No. No worries. You can hear down past this bridge, though. Um, what sounds like swishing swords and metal groaning and and clanking as um as something is fighting down there. Fighting. Fighting. Wait, where's Kira? She's walked away, stomping off. She went in that this direction way. or in this one? In this one. Uh, okay, maybe we should tell Kira not to touch the stones. No, I, no, I'm not it's, like it's, they. She, she, she knows not to. It's okay. But what if she's angry and she decides to kick one? She's not stupid. because I made her even more angry than before. It's okay. She's, she's, she's not stupid. Maybe we should just go catch up in. Yeah. No, if. How about um like are, are you 
Yeah, no. I'll well, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go check on her. And then you, okay. you just see her like walk away, and then just like keep glancing back at you guys. As she walks away. Don't you think it's weird that like apparently she knew about the stones, but didn't say anything before I touched them? Maybe she didn't know you were gonna touch them. Mm, you maybe. did say you were just going to look. I guess. Oh, she didn't. But... Did she answer you about your like basket hat question, uh, Loniko? So. No. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, sorry, I'll get back to that. Um, when like uh, Lo-Fi Boy's talking and like, uh, I mean Lo-Fi Boy's touching the stone and like you guys like distracted from it in the discussion, she would have told you. Um, it's just this thing that like has been following them for a while but like they've been told that it's gonna follow them and so like they've just let it and it's it's would i it's, no, know it's, anything about basket hats bro religion or history hey no nico oh sorry sorry no it's not the time <laughs> You haven't a clue. You're just like, you're trying to think uh, of like the various types of hags that like you can like, what like would be a hag to you and like nothing really comes to mind. You think of like, oh, maybe some kind of like um, thing related to yokai, maybe some kind of like just a witch or something or like a kind of type of priest or something, but you, you can't, you can't pinpoint off the top of your head. Um, 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 what? Loniko, um, I, I, I'm seeing something over there, um, uh, and the, there's a weird light thing, and, uh, let's, let's join back, uh, Kira, and, like, just come, please, okay, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what it was, but. When you guys are running around the corner, you just hear, like, Kira, like, just, like, looking up and just, like, just muttering to, uh. To Katsumi, if you want to roll perception to try and like eavesdrop as you guys are running towards them, you can. Actually, I'm not gonna try because Don't worry, I feel like I've done enough. enough. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I kind of like think about it, looking at Lonely Quinn, and I'm like, yeah, no, I better not. Yeah. <laughs> I will say though, without perception, you actually do notice something. Um, you you're listening in on their conversation, but you also see something else is listening in on their conversation. Oh my god! I feel like I would also be looking around after Lo-Fi Boys being like, "Let's go." You just see this strange, wispy, orby thing peeking out of the bushes and looking down at Kira and Katsumi, and it doesn't realize you're looking at it. Um, you can just see, like, it's kind of ethereally, ethereal and, like, green and, like, cloudy. And it's got, like, two little tiny horns. But you also see that, like, it's got, like, these two red... Otherworldly eyes, I would say. Uh, but you, then you hear uh, Kira just, like, uh, whispering to Katsumi. They, they, they won't help. They... This... That... The big one's stupid. And, he, and he's gonna just make her cry again. And then I'm gonna have to kill him. And I'm gonna have to break his legs. <coughs> And I, I don't I'm pretending to. I haven't heard anything. But... I'm happy I didn't try to hear that. <laughs> and Katsumi said, it's okay, don't worry, they're gonna help. And if it, if they really be a problem, well, we'll take care of it. I think we can handle them too. It's only a little kid and a Miss... robot. Oh, hello. Hi. Um... Hi. <laughs> I was just gonna like kind of tug on her clothing very lightly and oh, shit. very uh, quietly. <laughs> hi, <laughs> hi. <laughs> um, there's a little uh green um horned thing uh in the bushes watching you guys. As you point it out, Katsumi also looks when Kira looks up, and then they both like go slightly wide-eyed for a second, and you see. As soon as the spirit realizes that you're all looking at it, it makes a beep noise and then like goes back into the um, into the bush or the tree, uh, the trees. And you can you notice how like the leaves don't uh, rustle when it moves. Uh, oh, 
that's um maybe one of one of the old spirits. Maybe. The old spirits? Mm. We're we're in this is ancient isotope. The this is an old the old village before low old town was even built. So it was someone that used to live here? I'd hope so. What if maybe it's an evil spirit though? We heard noises uh, coming from across the bridge in the other way. Hmm. Um, do you know which way uh, Kiko might be? We just saw the hag uh, run down the hill. We ain't got a map, so we're not gonna. We just have to look and just hope. Oh, oh I, I've, I've actually been drawing a map already of the locations we've been here. Oh. Um, if 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 that's any help. She gives you a little nod. Th thanks. See, see, and, uh, being helpful. It's okay. And she just gives her like Kira a little pat on the head, and Kira just like kind of just shakes <laughs> as she looks up at the uh, Katsumi. I was gonna say Lo was smiling, and then I was like, oh, she's wearing a mask, so they can't even see her face anyway. <laughs> <laughs> And the token, which is so annoying. <laughs> um, I, I guess no fiber will turn to the spirit. Um, hey, you, was it you that like, um, um, you're not responsible for me being slightly entangled, are you? You had no response. <laughs> oh, 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 and Kira. Kira! What? Hey, Kira, like, yeah, yeah, by the way, um, you should know, to be careful, because you're right next to some, but the, the, the stones, they kind of entangle you, you want to avoid those, and that, I do like a thumbs up. Just know about <laughs> wild magic. Huh? See, like, he's not, he's, he's too, he's stupid. What do you mean? She just, I, I, she just like she just like pats uh, Kira to stop her. It's wild. Uh, they're wild. It's wild magic. That's that's that's. You don't want to like don't. Just try not to get too close to them. It's okay. It's just uh, just raw wild magic. That makes sense. Do you understand? Uh, Would anything happen if we cast a spell around it? Wait, so this is a type of material that my research was based on, and I never even encountered any. Wait. Maybe not raw pockets. <laughs> this is as pure as it gets. And also when, like, you mention casting a spell, uh, she turns to Kira and asks. And, like, just, like, uh, Kira just shakes her head. So, I don't, I don't that's think okay. casting a spell should, should do anything. You were saying, uh, Lo-Fi Boy? Is that is that why there was like digging, like in, through the sewers into here? Do you think that like some people are collecting some of these raw material to create some things? I mean, that would be why why they're fighting a war. But I don't think she looks around. I don't I don't think they they were meaning to find any here. Did, there is an awful did they, lot. Did they say they would cure? She turns to Kira, and Kira just shakes her head again. No, they, uh... They just came to help. Who's, uh, they? Yeah. Just, uh... Just... She turns to Kira, though. Kira just shrugs her shoulders. The, uh... And then Kira then says... Those, those, those gods, the, the our body gods, while, while the hag comes with us. Wait, what? What? What the the crystal skeleton guys? Yeah. Uh, 
Lofi, she's just gonna look back. over at Lois. and she, <laughs> Lois just gonna look at Lofi boy and just not say anything, and then just turn back and be like, "That is this way a dead end." <laughs> she uh, I think it's a dead end. Yeah. Out. No, I, I think, no. I mean, but if you want to split up, we can. And mm. she just walks away. Not even waiting for you guys to answer if you guys are going to split up or not. She's just going to look at Lo-Fi Boy and then keep walking, I Ka guess. <laughs> Katsumi but... looks at you, as you both. Um, what, is your ex what are both your expressions? Well, Lo-Fi Boy, your, I don't know if your expression's going to change. Lo-Fi <laughs> Boy, oh, you're in a mask! Face. <laughs> she just looks down at you and... Uh, <laughs> I I I got it. Are you you want to split up or should we meet back up or? Um, no. Well, there seems to be just... very dangerous things down here, so I'm not sure it's a good idea to split up. Okay, I'll give us a second. Uh, or... Can you? Well, besides, you like... it could be pretty big down here. It, yeah, there's that uh, definitely. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Sure. It is rather cavernous when you guys like look at the cave. Um, yeah, uh, she, she, this, uh, this, all right, just give, give me a second. Do, do you want to come this way or I don't think it's a dead end. I think I, I, she's still, she's still going. We might as well. Right. She then just like bolts like she, and she's surprisingly fast. Um, for how like slender she is. Well. I don't know if that's super smart. She like she has a fairly athletic build, and then they're just rushing away. And then, yeah. No, Nico. Yeah. <laughs> um. Do you think this is a trap? I've never been in a trap before. <laughs> um. I'm not the best at telling, but I I don't think so. Can I can I insight to 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 feel like yeah vibe that... check. go on insight check <laughs> yeah vibe check honestly <laughs> now that lo-fi's brought out can I vibe check the past conversations we've been having yeah go ahead well? roll insight <laughs> <laughs> wow well, 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 you don't know what a trap looks like so you don't know what the fuck you walk into. <laughs> You think this is a this is a fine leisurely downhill story. Um, Low Nico, though, however, you inside the, the the past conversations, you they're not like lying to you upright, mm -hmm. but there is very much something they are like not. They do they are clearly stepping. They are beating around a bush. Yeah. I I I got that. <laughs> Also, can I see this little fella? Yeah, he is. <laughs> you do see him, like, just, like, peek over the roof and, like, look down at you guys. Um, can the I roof do is a actually wave? just a bit above uh, Love High Boy's head. Um, <laughs> when you wave, it then just, like, uh, hi tries to hide him, but you can see his hands uh, holding onto the railing. Beep! Can I play a very, sort of, quite a quiet, because I don't want anything to like <laughs> but i just want to play a very quiet little tune on Go ahead. my shamazon roll a uh, roll a performance holy shit <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit that's really low yeah <laughs> But the total roll, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Plus nine, baby. Um, you play a very somber, um, playful, cheerful. Well, not even somber. Why am I saying somber? That's like a complete opposite. You play a fairly like, <laughs> a sweet little, tiny little, cheerful uh, uh, tune, and like as like you are just playing the the spirit, then like eeps his head back up, and then looks down at you, and you notice its eyes are very. The easy way I could describe it is yokai-ish. Hmm. But like, you can know, I... it's, it's only got two. You only see two sets of eyes as like, you can see through its body, like these, like one, um, like a leaf, like just floating aimlessly within. Hi, uh, 
little guy. Um, hello. Can you? Oh, hello. Um, Hi. You were listening to our friends over there. No. Uh, who no. just left? No, Eve's swapping. It's okay. Not not me. <laughs> it's okay if you were. It's fine. Okay. They're gone now. I might. I... Okay, some eavesdroppings for me. Why? Um. Oh, nothing. Um, you know the uh the tiefling, the one with horns. Have you seen a smaller version of her uh come through here? They're about my size. No, I think. I don't remember. Are there more of? You here? Yes. Uh, maybe, maybe twelve, twelve more left. Maybe. Uh, did you see? Uh, I don't know what a basket hag looks like. Oh, but... oh. And he goes to hide. Oh no, it's okay. They're not. They're basket not here. Where? No, 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 not here. We're looking for the basket hag. They've apparently come here. Well, uh, uh, they've taken a friend of ours. Oh, basket hags do that. They're not. They're not nice. No, uh, you haven't seen one then. Not here. Maybe, 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 uh, maybe, maybe felt something, but not, not basket, not, not here. Not here. Uh, do you know if any of your other friends might have seen them? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know where they are. Ah, it's been, that's it's okay. been, it's, it's been so long. Um, may I ask what you overheard the other two talking about? He looks at Lo-Fi Boy, and then he looks at you. You, you two. Just us? And 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 maybe maybe the other red tiefling lady, the small one, maybe. Um. I think a basket hack as well. But well, if you do happen to find any of your friends, could you let them know that me and my friend here are nice and friendly? Little fat boy waves. He gives a nod. Oh, sorry, the spirit gives a nod. Okay. Uh, I will add also, like, you see, like, someone, like, the walls are, like, collapsed. So, like, you can, like, see through, like, rubble and, like, into the uh, the housing. And, like, when you, like, walk past some of the house and look through the windows, you see the furniture is very small. Like, almost, like, like, low Nico is almost, like, too big for some of the furniture. I mean, I think I realized something, but I don't know whether low. <laughs> Same. Honestly, same. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Spirit, do you have a name? Oh, I, I, I think so, but it's, it's been so long. I, I, don't, I don't remember. Well, if you see any of your friends, could you let them know uh, that uh, we're nice and looking for that little... Uh, tiefling, uh, not tiefling, that little girl who is the same kind of height as me. Mm -hmm. As And as you, like, uh, say that, you then hear a sudden burst of water splash against this wall here and then, like, cause some of the water to even crumble and, like, shatter and, like, collapse. As you hear Kira and Katumi just both shout fuck at the same time. As, they <laughs> as you see, like, just the shadows of them ducking. And then, and then you hear this, um that noise again of the crystalline glass summon and then what sounds like an explosion of like glass hitting something and as like amongst that like glassy crash uh explosion -y blast noise you also hear something squelchy and squishy and wet explode and then turn oh into God. a fire or you hear like fire flicker as it happens just gonna look at Lo-Fi Boy and be like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, I guess. Yeah. You see Katsumi turn around, like come through 
Not this way, maybe. As you see her uh, dragging that Kira way? back with her. Uh, is she okay? She's fine. You know, what she... just happened? We heard we heard water and, and, and fire and, and just just just, yo just some yokai. And uh, Kira took care of them. It's okay. And there was nothing else that way. Just just some more yokai. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, let let's. Um... Her. And she like sure, you know well. she's trying. She is trying to like move you, but like very gently, trying to like uh, scoot you forward. Can we, can she's still dragging <laughs> Kira with her, and you can hear Kira's feet dragging. Uh, is there any? Were there any yokai left? Did that? There did it few. deal with all of them? No, no, no. There was, there was, there was more. There was, there was at least four. Oh. Oh, that's quite a lot. And as that like, happens, uh, you hear more, um, more. Uh, Wet footstep sounds. As I use, was certain I had like I should have added. I forgot to add all the playlists. I'm stupid. Uh, to give me a second. As you hear, yeah, you hear more. Um, like something's walking in water, and then like just wet footsteps on stone, and like just walking through, walking towards you guys behind you. As you uh, see, I stop those because like I can't like haven't got enough forever. As you see <laughs> three like um three jellyfish fish like creatures that are humanoid in shape that are, like are roughly about just a bit taller than you, alone. Nico come chasing uh, around the corner, or you can just see about this their silhouette against um cast off this wall here. That's three of them. Uh, as you can see, like three different shapes. Come chasing you guys. Uh, you have one, one round before you guys are put in initiative. What would you like to do? Oh my god. Um. I I I. I Liko, how about you go further into the back, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and, and oh oh, Mr. Spirit. Uh. There might be some action. You might want to. That would be a good time to hide. You see, he doesn't even say anything, and he's like already floats into like the the leaves as uh, Katsumi and uh, is dragging Kira through around the corner. Um. Uh, can I give a bardic inspiration? To Kira, I guess, because she's at the front. <laughs> sure. What is uh describe what that's uh what's what that's like for me? Um I guess it would look like a sort of fiery spider lily for now. Um Okay. Yeah, you summon, you, you create a jingle. Uh, are, you, are you using your shamisen or are you using your... Uh... Shamisen. You, your pick, when it glides over the strings, you get that uh, ethereal, otherworldly noise resonating from the pick uh, like normal, and you feel... You feel like almost a connection with the world around you as, as you strum through, and like you get this godly chorus... Uh, play through your shamus and through just one like uh, strum, uh, and you see your uh, you see your spider lily on your um, the one that's living kind of like almost detach, but then you see it is ethereal and it like glides through the wind and on your musical notes, and the uh, flowing with the music towards Kira and like actually falls into her hair, and slots just oh. over her uh, left uh, her right ear I think is it's yeah her right ear. And then, like, it is you... a... Sorry, go on. It is a mote of potential, so it doesn't technically change until it's decided what she does with it. Okay. What, um... Well, look, does it, would it still appear as a uh, spider lily as it hits? Yeah, so for now, that's, like, the yeah. base thing it looks like. Okay. When until it... she uses it. Yeah. When it does, like, land on her, 
you she does kind of turn to you and like you notice she's like gone like her face is in surprise and uh she is becoming deeper a deeper red uh, you just, uh, just, like you just like hear a very like throaty thank you uh, just like come from her um, I'm making friends <laughs> If you want yeah, to, she can uh, use it on a ability check, attack roll, or a saving throw. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to roll uh, initiative for me, sure. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> oh gosh! Here was the second one, I believe we can see it's the first. 11 point. Oh my god, did someone just like launch a bit of dice? Or was that just me? <laughs> and then the Suiko. Also, I'm very sorry if people can hear my cat now. He's decided he wants cuddles. <laughs> we, no, we all feel extremely blessed. By smudge. <laughs> Right, decided that combat is the perfect time. It is, and I'm gonna change the uh, the playlist to uh, combat music. And I believe Lon Lon uh, Lonico, you're actually first. So what would you like to do? Oh, <laughs> I mean, I can't actually do it anymore. You can't watch it. Um, I can't see the things anymore. As a, too far uh, away. Okay, I thought I was gonna say I thought I the lighting break. No, it's just I have terrible. There we go. <laughs> oh. Right down. There. Um. I guess I'll just move further back so everyone's not boxed into this little um, corridor. Mm. <laughs> that feels like a bad place to be. Um, I guess I will move up here and sort of keep an eye out if there's anything that's coming from this direction. Mm. For now. So we had some stuff from over things. there. So I'm going to do this. It is Kira's turn. And Kira's going to uh, pull herself away from Katsumi. And Katsumi, like, uh, let's go almost instinctively ready. Like, know that you guys have, like, your... She's allowed to fight now, essentially. <laughs> and you just see her <laughs> rush around the corner. And you hear that crystalline sound again. As, um... As she swishes... Well, you can't see her swish her, uh, her crystal uh, <laughs> club, but you don't hear any any like m flesh get uh, hit, but you do hear stone crumble. And uh, but then she goes she goes for a few more swings because she can do three. Look at her go! Dang. Look at her go! And she, uh, you hear, like, after the first swing and, like, smashing stone, you just hear her, like, grunt. Uh, her grunt uh, echo through the chamber. Uh, um, like a, or a grumble, not a grunt, really. And then she swishes um, in the other direction, causing another impact in the other wall. Um, <coughs> but as soon as, like, it, like, hits the, uh, the yokai, you hear it burst uh, into something wet. And you get a strange smell of moldy water waft from Kira's direction as um as that happens and then you just see her like well you don't you just see her a silhouette um against the wall just stand in defiance ready for the next uh ready for the next attack love how about your turn interesting so considering the Inability to do anything. Um. Oh, can I move it in this like yeah, yeah. through here like this? Yeah, you can, yeah. you can scooch past um, Katsumi. So the first thing I do is move over here, but then seeing that like you there see, would be the way... here just like uh, causes one uh, jellyfish, a fish like yokai to um, to just burst. 
um, and like when wow. you get when you get a better look at it, you do notice like it's like it's very fish like in its like this face is very fish like and it's wearing like what looks like fisherman uh, clothing or like what, uh, there's something of fisherman clothing wrapped around it, uh, it with a very like a fisherman's rope tied around it and like you can see it's a white marking is like um, like a clownfish almost or like koi fish. And you can see it's got a bunch of eyes all over its body. It's, uh, typical of normal yokai. And you can see its feet and its hands are webbed. And you can just see like, it's got like, these strange jelly man on its shoulders and on its head. Uh, shaped like fins. Uh, just so chat can see, actually. I'll, uh, I'll remove the X on the one. In the one in the tree is dead, though. Uh, ch just so I can check and see. But yeah, what do you want to do? Kira, can I jump over you? <laughs> mm-hmm. She says yes. She just yeah, grum uh, like makes like a grumbling noise of like yes. Mm. Okay, so then jumping o uh, over her, well, I, I try to end up in front of her. Yeah. She does like kind of like uh, roll a uh, roll acrobatics or dexterity to try and jump over her. Yep. Yeah. She will try to help you though, so you will have advantage. Oh uh, okay. You're good. Yeah, she. Uh, you feel her hand like try to push you forward, but you're you're already over her by the time you like you feel her hand try to push you, and you land perfectly in front of the uh, the sweet co yokai. Right, you guys don't know it's a sweet co, but like it's it's a sweet co. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll go for the um, assorted tank. That hits. All right, and then aiming at its um, left side. <laughs> <laughs> Going for a slash on its left side, you immediately making contact with its um, with its uh, jelly, like um, watery jelly man on its shoulder. That pops and bursts, and as it pops, like you see, like deflate uh, and like like almost like uh, dislocate itself and just become more squishy and more more cuttable. I would say, as like you just slice through it. But as you're slicing through, like, and you get this, you have your uh, senses uh, can smell. This is what that moldy water smell was. Com uh, was, and like as you slice through, you see like it like bursts into water that turns to fire. And as that fire is glitching in the air, you feel your umbrella, um, the the umbrella sword, uh, glitch along with it and become more and more distorted as like it's slicing through, cleaving it in half. Anything else? I, I turn around and say, Lonico, as a, always, amazing light source that you've provided. I couldn't do this without you. And then in a lower voice, and same goes to you, Kira. I couldn't have done this without you. And I, and I put up my fist up for a fist bump. <laughs> she looks away, but she does. She does pump your fist. As All you right, hear, that's the end of my turn. As you hear Katsumi shout, Leapfrog, as she comes running <laughs> in the corner. Oh my god. And she tries jumping over Kira and then you. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, <laughs> she goes to like jump over Kira, but like Kira, like, as soon as she, like, you see her go to grab her horns. And as she grabs Kira's horns, Kira like like tries to like throw her off, and you know so like that does cause her to like become a lot more discombobulated. But she is able to just get over Kira with uh, Kira um, throwing her off <laughs> in both ways. Uh, she just about makes it over you, Lofi boy, but she does kind of like kick you in uh, on the side. And her boot is like when she kicks you, you there is heft. To um, to the impact when it hits you, but she does uh, she but like she didn't like, she just shouts sorry as she like uh gets gets just beside and it kind of rolls as she hits the ground and as she's on the ground she just goes for a punch into the groin of the Suiko. And like you don't even see her like hand move, you just hear the impact of like what sounds like a rocket exploding off of her. As you see the Suiko just like burst and have a hole in its groin, uh, like, <gasps> straight through it. As it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> She's got great style. 
and uh, you just see her like kind of like just like um, wipe her knuckles on the, on the bush beside her. As a you think combat is over, but you do hear something w walking over um, wood or a wooden bridge, and you can hear something walking through grass towards you guys. Can I hear? You cannot like, hear. Like, is it coming from you, this direction? No, you don't hear it. You still hear the, uh, okay. the clashing and slashing noises. Um... Did I skip a turn? I feel like I skipped the Suiko so the Suiko should attack Hatsumi, I think. Oh no, I didn't, no, sorry. I'm just like, yeah, no, it's your turn, what would you have to do? Um, seeing as nothing's really changing this way, uh, I'll move on down. <laughs> See what's happening. Mm. <laughs> you just you would you just catch the final moment as like white fire bursts uh around katsumi as a uh, as you hear that impact noise anything else ignore that these aren't uh... on the ceiling they're not they're not, they're, they're not attacking <laughs> just like uh is everyone okay is it over uh, yeah like uh, everyone did a little slash and a I... Uh, well, there was a bit of noise more below, but nothing that I can see for now. As you guys are like discussing it, like uh, Katsumi does turn to you, like, "What? You, you, we we running or we keep? We keep we're we're fighting? What do you want? What do you want to do?" Well, there's still the sounds of swords clashing from over that other bridge. So, if you peek your, she's just gonna shrug. <laughs> I mean, you could always try to enter through this window if you want, Loniko. Yeah, actually, yeah. Let's let's try to go around through the house. Uh, she, she, this isn't actually a window; it's a bit of rubble that, like, you kind of like, uh, crawl through. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess I could use my action to dash because I haven't done anything else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I need to roll anything? No, nope, you're able crawl? to like, just stumble in. Like, you have to like crawl in. Sweet. But you are able to like make your way in. <laughs> And like you just like walk over a bunch of like plastered uh, rubble, plaster, and stone, and like wood, as you stumble into what looks like a living quarters of um, of whoever lived here. And you can see like the beds uh, and like bits of the furniture have been like just destroyed as um, the rubble has like crashed over it. And you can see like the whatever like furniture isn't rude is just covered in dust and just wasting away. Is this a door that's supposed to be closed? You can open that. Like I'm gonna say, all the doors like kind of like open, are just left ajar slightly, so you can see them. Okay. Because I, that's that's on me. But like we're able to write it in. <laughs> the doors, the doors. But they are still. ruins. So yeah, technically exactly. The doors could be all broken up and exactly. messed up. Yeah. I'm going to bring a light in here. This goes on quite far. I guess I'm just gonna chill out here. <laughs> Kira, through through the house. Katsumi shouts, and Kira uh, climbs through as well. And she, like, steps in front of you with her uh, crystal club in hand like a bat, just in case anything comes around the doorway to attack you. Uh, she's going to ready her action, just in case. Love Hobo, what do you want to do? Uh, I try to go in through the same uh, mm -hmm. thing. Okay, cool. And then I'd go next to next to Kira. Um, can I make it next to her? Yeah, next to Kira, and and I tell her. <laughs> Sorry. Are you copying from the dust? Or are you like? I'm her. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the dust. Is you disrupting it as you're walking through all the rubble? <laughs> it's a habit. <laughs> um, no, just like, oh, good work back there, Kira. That was nice. Um, if you ever need to jump over me, just let me know. I'll help you out the same way. Um, mm -hmm. Or make sure I'm not in your way. You you can just see her like reaction uh, when he says because she's she doesn't look at Love Hobo when she's uh, when he's uh, when he says this, but you can see like it's almost like he's like. It's like a, like a grimace of annoyance, but like kind of like a little smirk when she when uh, when she nods her head. 
But look, she's still like very much focused on. Um... <laughs> Sorry, you my filter. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been changed for a very long time. It has not. Anything else, though? Um, what's in front of us? Is it a window? That's a window, yeah. And you can see outside the window a Kamino statue. We what is be... this? Is this a broken wall? Yeah, it's a broken wall. Let's just uh, rubble into a uh, into another side of the wall, uh, house. Anything Actually, else? if I can... Yeah, I'll use my action to dash and uh, I'll just, I guess, step outside here. Mm -hmm. see, and go... Maybe five more foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay. I'm gonna chill here for the time being. Yeah. As you like, do that. You do hear wet uh, footsteps uh, crossing the, this br a bridge in this direction. Okay. In the, in the shadows <laughs> of uh, this tree, as you can see, a bunch of red glowing eyes gander at you. Uh, really? Mm hmm As as you, oh. Loniko, you turn to see Katsumi just rush through the building and like crawl through, and then she's. She gets beside uh, Kira with a ready action as well. Like if anything steps through, she's gonna lunge at it. Um, the Kappa's turn. Sorry, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. Lofi, will you see what is crossing the bridge, knocking over a wheelbarrow that is just beside uh, oh the bridge, as you see a giant duck-like oh. creature come across wading uh, over the uh, the bridge and in through the shadows of the trees and you see this giant hulking beast of a duck creature covered in like sewage and seaweed and just you can always through its uh, bill you can see like teeth as it just like quacks at your in at, right in your face and it goes to uh, give you a peck and then two slashes with its claws dang oh my god But when it goes to peck you, you just like sidestep it and like it throws its head a bit too close to the ground and with too much force and it gets its beak stuck in the ground and starts clawing at the ground to try and pull itself out. So it uses its two claw attacks instead to pull its beak out of the ground and it just quacks at you again. As you, I don't know if you actually see this. Yeah, you don't see this. Well, you hear uh, oh. some footsteps run around the corner. <laughs> Oh, I saw something pass. <laughs> okay. Give me a second. As Lonika, it will be your turn if you want to ready your action. Is perception intelligence or wisdom? Wisdom. Wisdom. you see something peek its head. Well, you see a Shabbat peek its head through the rubble behind you, and it readies a sling and fires a slingshot on the back of your head. Hello, Nico. God damn it, bro. Does 14 hit? Uh, I think my AC is 15. Yep, you're safe. It's you 15. just see a brick fly, be uh, fly <laughs> past your side and smash into the wall. Why can't we be friends? <laughs> well, Nico, you okay? Uh, um, oh god, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't even know if dissident whispers work on yokai. You can find out. I sure, you know what, I sure can. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think it's a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving. Are, you, are you doing the cap or the spine? The cap. It fails. Oh, sick. <laughs> uh, 3d6. What's your, uh, what are you whispering as it's trying to... As you cast distant whispers while he's trying to pull its uh, head or beak out of the ground. 
Um, <laughs> I just thought I just thought of something really cool, stupid. Um, there is a giant cat. <laughs> uh, there's Where? a giant cat. Uh, it's coming for you. <laughs> um, <laughs> because it has to move as far as its speed allows away from me. <laughs> are you my IRL or are you doing as my well? Life? No, I'm. T that's what I'm whispering. Ah, <laughs> uh, roll, roll your damage. <laughs> as you see, it looks. Some of its eyes look at you, and you can see a bit of fear shiver in its eyes. Uh, the eyes on his side of his head that look at you and then like you can see it's like uh, the slimy like the sliminess of the on the body of the cat but like almost like slimes more as it panics trying to like sweating. look around yeah sweating as he's trying to trying to look around yeah there's a giant cat and it's gonna eat you if you attack us <laughs> there we go um yes it yeah. takes it 10. does panic uh, yeah, cool. Uh, I'm going to. Do I want to move? Probably, maybe. You know what? I'm just going to move here. <laughs> mm. um, yeah. Uh, do I have a bonus action left? I think I do. I give a bardic inspiration to uh, Kasumi. Oh, what's it look Share like? Sharing the love. I think they probably most of them look like spider lilies for, the, for now. I think the same Never. effect happens where like you play your music, and then that same living spider lily on your uh, the one actually on Kira's um, actually kind of it grows smaller. As like another spider breaks off of it, and like a little forward. fiery yeah. one, yeah. And it like places itself also above um, Katsumi's ear, and Katsumi then you notice also her skin now turned a bright purple, a bright red and purple. <laughs> now she like she doesn't know what to do, and then she looks at Kira, and then Kira also smiles, and then she smiles, and uh, you see like her their earrings both jingle. Um, as like the spider lily places um, itself on uh, and like settles itself on their ears. Oh, and also I guess I'll tell them there's a fellow over here just in case they haven't seen. Mm. <laughs> Give me a second, like cause that. Kira's gonna do a thing. We've got Yokai coming from behind. <laughs> I see it as Kira like is still focusing um, here, and you can see it's look. Uh, she's looking straight at the cat, and you see she moves her back uh, to her side as she then begins to create a crystalline energy in her hand, that, like circles around her, and her all her jewelry, uh, the crystal jewelry on her starts shaking, and you can see also the jewelry on um, on Katsumi also begins to start shake uh, the pink crystal jewelry on them. Both begins to shake as a uh, she does um, a blast spell that will do a thing when it wants to roll the thing. It didn't roll. I don't know why it did that. Actually, oh, I'm stupid. I'm not stupid. It's it, it's not on the. Hold on. Oh, that's not what I was meant to do. I want to use my bardic inspiration. <laughs> I don't, I don't use it. Uh, it's a d6. Uh, what are you doing? Is it attacking? Yeah, yeah. it's an attack, yeah. Okay. Um, add it to your attack roll. And there's uh, also something else that happens now as well. I put it in chat. <laughs> 14. And. Um, because um, it's plus 7, plus 5, plus 2. Um, uh, the target and. Each creature of your choice that you can see within five feet of it must succeed on a con saving throw against my spell DC or take thunder damage equal to the number rolled on the bardic inspiration die. I see. So it needs to make a con save. It fails. Which it fails. So it takes whatever the bardic die was, which was five. Mm -hmm. It takes it five. five. 
thunder damage. Five thunder damage. But yeah. So you see Kira begin to create this energy in her hand that's crystalline, and like you've not felt magic like this. This is a very strange magic that is just coming off of her that like she's summoning and swirling around her, her palm and like it's like jingles like jewelry and raising her hand she launches it at the um at the cavern like as it like forms in the air you see it become like solid crystal oh it looks like solid crystal um and same with you love you see actually love when you see this happen you actually feel it resonate within you as well and this is like something that like touches your core when you feel it alone you can you Instead of like feeling that kind of uh, energy, but you you more so feel this is it very awe inspiring is the way I would describe it. And when you both like look into the blast, you can see a web uh, reflecting off of the crystal energy as it uh, takes the form of like a crystal chain that blasts through the air. I thought this was the Monsters Inc. soundtrack. <laughs> I thought this was the beginning once the thing started playing. But yeah, you see a crystal pink crystal chain, a blast off of her hand that uh, attacks the kappa and deals. Um, it was nine plus the five. As you see the kappa get pushed back. And when the kappa gets pushed back, you see like the beam creates a blast of light that you guys like could... You guys could see a fair bit of the cave as like the light just like reflects off everything for the briefest of moments. Can I add a little thing about what the little bardic you inspiration can. You mode can. does? <laughs> I, I, did, I did not describe what that how that looks. So yeah, please do. <laughs> Yeah, so the little flaming, uh, sort of spiritual spider lily, um, when she does her attack, it transforms into, um, what's the, I've forgotten the name of the thunder one, is it Rai? It's not Raiju. Raiju? Yeah. Uh, Raiju. Raiju, that's the one. Okay. Um, it transforms into like, an, like two little Raiju that then like blast into the kappa mm. to deal the thunder damage. Yeah, so like... Yeah, you see uh, the spider leaf fall off of her uh, ear and like weave around her hand. And like as it's weaving, it turns into the two Raichu. And like that looks like uh, to everyone in chat or to everyone, that looks like six uh, white dogs swirling around lightning and thunder uh, that race along the chain as they're chasing each other. And as soon as they hit the kappa, you see the one that is in the back. That one goes to bite the kappa where the blast hit and it creates that sonic boom uh, that echoes off of the um the kappa distorting that crystalline noise as it does so Yay. <laughs> and akira then stands out of the um out of the sh uh the shadow of the house and gives a nod to lonito and then then looks at lofi boy lofi your turn I saw there, there were, uh, that, well, that was cool, uh, and, 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 and there's also other, there's more across the bridge, so, um, Kira, just mm, be careful, I'm gonna do something, and uh, I run up towards here, maybe take an extra step, um, more oof on the edge, like this. <laughs> you see a shackle of your barrow beside you, and like, yeah, that's a fence that you like. Are you tearing on the left uh, fence, or are you just right on it? No, 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 no. I'm on the left side, on the safe side okay. of the fence. I just didn't. I wanted to get away from Kira a bit. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to, uh, as a bonus action, uh, enter rage. Go ahead. What's that look like? Uh, oh, and let's roll. see. Let's roll. Yeah. So that's uh, 63, correct? Hopefully yeah. you finished the, the sheet. Did you finish it? Yeah, yeah, we did, we did. Oh, perfect. Uh, all right. So. Am I succeed or? Oh, cool. So this uh, thing, uh, the... The wild man 
magic inside of Lo-Fi Boy would swell around his head and would echo like uh, like a drop like in water there would be this kind of like echoing like wave that would just like go emanate from his head mm. as uh i guess most of the flowers from his body would also kind of like move around and shift yeah. to grow more and be like active and blooming around his head as well and creatures around me in a 30 foot um i guess that would be radius um need to do a wisdom saving throw and if they fail i get like this kind of like of insight of how they plan to attack me yeah. giving me yeah which would give them disadvantage on their attack rolls until the so end of the can. next round so that include Loni, uh, katsumi and kira yeah yeah i guess yeah let me do Kira's. That would qualify. So it's easier for me to know. Yeah. On... I'm gonna have to drop Lo-Fi Boy. Um, he's kind of stuck, but I didn't mean oh, to go he... there. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. What was he putting a wall? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I oh, was, I was just trying to see the 30 thing around me. Yeah. Ah. Well, yeah, there. There you go. And you'd actually get something there you'd see you basically would see everything then uh well roll on eco when she gets back um but yeah you see you look through these ripples and like when you like look through the one that's in kira's direction you can see kira is summoning another one of her like blast attacks uh her crystal blasts um at the kappa while katsumi you see she uh, her is her charging towards the kappa and oh no sorry uh, charging towards a Shabbaton uh, in the building and uh, trying to punch that. The Kappa, you, uh, through the ripples you see, runs away, is running away from um, from Kira and actually tries to slash at you, though, when it does try to run away. And so you'll get, uh, it gets disadvantage when it tries to attack you. And you can see a Suiko running away with the Shabbaton in the ripples as well. Okay. Um... Then I. Uh, as some uh, wild magic surges around you. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought I thought you were saying the the stones of the wild magic things were also surging because I surged. They do. You kind of scared and, me. Well, like, they it do. does. Like, it kind of like create like as soon as your ripples hit the uh, the Shiseki stone here, you see it ripple back. And when it ripples back, could you roll me a wisdom save? As you see <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> a cat running through the, um, you see a cat running through, um, could you roll me a d20, a seasonal bard in chat? As you see a cat running through the ripples. Um, I should have done the wisdom save yet. 15. I have no clue why. Oh, five. Yep. As like you see the ripples come back, you see like in the ripples, like it's you. You turn into a crystalline dust, uh, that like turns into a cat, uh, a little robotic lo-fi boy, flowery cat. But as soon as like you see the ripples coming towards you, you are able to like kind of like just like sidestep him, and you just see the ripples wave off away in the air. Aloniko, could you roll me a wisdom save? Yes. What was the wisdom save, uh, Sam? Um, I believe it would be with my spell casting ish. I think we we had a thing that like said what it would be. Let me see. Oh right, yeah, yeah, no. Let me see the top of the table. Sorry. Um. Oh, ten. The plus... save would be plus proficiency plus barbarian, so it's at least fourteen. It's more than fourteen. Yeah. So yeah, what, Lonika? What would you have done? What would your next attack be on your turn? Um, 
said his name was Farhan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I, I mean, I probably would have cast mirror image on myself, so I probably wouldn't actually be attacking on my next go. You just see the ripples uh, display three lone echoes in the amongst the rubble in the house. <laughs> What would you like to do on you now? What else would you like to do uh, after ensuing rage? Yeah, I'd like to uh, attack the Kappa. Mm -hmm. um, though, if it's possible, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. I, well, you know what? I'm gonna ask you if it's possible. Is it possible to just aim ever so slightly at the Kappa to do only half damage and the other half of the damage aiming at the bridge? Yeah, sorry, I'm just like, yeah, actually, yeah, I think that'd be, hmm, yeah. Roll, roll to attack, and like, okay. I'll, I'll let, like, the you be able to carry the damage over, depending on. Okay. Okay. Uh, so do I roll? Yeah, okay. Sorry, like, I keep so moving be... the map around, like, I... Yeah, no worries. Ten slashing, so you wanted to put five onto the, uh, the cap, and then five onto the bridge? Yeah, basically, I'm, I'm, I know that like I probably won't be able to just yeet the bridge into oblivion, <laughs> yeah. but if it creates a dent or something that like the kappa might be able to chip into or something, like anything to slow it down, since I, I, I saw that it will try to run away. Yeah, you, um... Oh, and by the way, uh, so... And the the yokai that were like over here, mm -hmm. they didn't. They were they they weren't in rage, correct? They were. You got one of them. Oh, they that, were. That's what you. That's the way you sent a sweet girl running away. Oh right, running. they're all running away. Yeah. Okay, cool. As you create a dent in the kappa and a cut into it, you see like it bursts into white fire. And, like well, as like a white fire like slashes downwards, so following the trail of your slash and like glitching as it does so, you cut into the bridge, creating a. Dent on the right side, and like it kind of like makes the footing on like as you step onto the bridge very awkward, which happens to be where the kappa was standing. And you see the kappa kind of just slip and gets foot stuck in um, where you've uh, cut into the bridge. Hey. And he tries pulling its leg out. Anything else? That'll be the end of my turn. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this because I was gone, but what? Exactly, it happened. Yeah. Rage and like my spell. Uh, <laughs> so... The wild magic surge. Yeah. Um, that like I got uh, some insight about the next attack uh, creatures in a thirty foot radius around me would do. Okay. So the yokai are planning to run away. Kira's planning to do another uh, rock blast. And uh, Katsumi is uh, planning to just charge the Kappa. No, no, the Shabbat. The Shabbat, the, sorry. Yeah, yeah, the Shabbat in the house, right? correct. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I understand now. I was like, has my spell been cast? What? No. Yeah. Anything else, Lofi boy? No, no, no. That was it. All right, Katsumi's turn, but I'm gonna have to just roll one dice before I do anything. Yep. You see, Katsumi just. Well, you don't see. You just see dust disrupt around you, Lonika, uh, and you feel a tap on your right shoulder as uh, Katsumi dashes past your left shoulder up the hill, uh, up the hill of rubble, and then tries to um, uh, do a few uh, punches on the um, on the Shabbat. Oh, she, she doesn't get three. She only gets two, I think. Sorry, my mistake. So she only gets two. Uh, but she does hit the Shabbaton on the... Um, you don't even see her hands move. But you hear, like, two impacts. As, like, you see two dents get carved into 
um, into the Shaban uh, by side on the side of its head and on one of its legs, and you see it topple over, and you see the Shaban just turn, erupt into white fire, swirling around Katsumi's fist as she like just turns to you and it gives you a little smile. Hello, Nico. I get a thumbs up. <laughs> she gives you a thumbs up. Bye bye. And low, uh, low fire boy, you can hear metallic groaning and scratching and chains jingling from above you, uh, echoing throughout the chamber from above. And you can hear something lurching through around these buildings, dragging its feet. It's heavy. Wait, would you be above? <laughs> oh no, that those were those noises above, but you got, can also hear through. Oh. Uh, walking across the ground, something. Oh, uh, can I see that? Can you see the light? I can't yeah. see the light. Then you see it. You see. Oh, they look adorable. <laughs> you see these metallic. I'm gonna change the music actually. That's the thing that I I first saw uh, a while ago, and I was scared. Um... <laughs> If I just change the music to this, as you see, these metallic beings of that are sheets of metal with bits of wood, um, uh, pl like plating, uh, placed onto the uh, onto the armor of these strange creatures, and you can see, like, wood, like a giant like uh, wood spear in his chest and a horn. On his head, and you can see um, through the very uh, valves and um, and pipes on the on this creature or this um, construct, you can see white ethereal fire burning away, white greeny fire, similar to the same um, as the ethereal like uh, spirit that you saw earlier uh, that was hiding. And you can see this. You see this lumber towards you guys, dra good night, dragging itself uh, towards you guys and you can see as it's walking towards you guys you see it just pluck th thrust its hand into this uh, building here and then pull out a spirit um, a similar spirit to the ones you guys were looking at earlier and you see it just like open this um, mouth on its head or where its face would where its mouth would be on its face and just like eat this spirit and the white fire uh, coming from its eye and uh, through the valves and pipes in its body just erupt and burst and grow glow more brighter and it just makes more metallic groaning and um, grumbling noises as it makes its way towards you but it's an end this turn there and the kappa is now going to attack as the Kappa is going to try and run away from Kira and pull its leg through the um, through the bridge. However, it isn't. It's able. It's just about able to pull its leg through, but still creates um, more damage to the bridge. It does then go for two slashes on you as it tries to run away, Lo uh, Lofi Boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there would be a hit, and you would get an attack of opportunity as it tries to run away. Yeah, I will opportunity attack it. <laughs> that hits. Oh, also, it did a hit on me yeah. with one of its claws. That oh, okay, you ten had damage it as it as it just slashes you as it tries to like rush past. Dang, that's so hard. I slash back. <laughs> you do. Eleven. <laughs> and as it's running past you. Your your blade is able to nick it, and like as like it like plunges into it, you see it kind of like erupt from where you've slashed at it, and like as the slash cuts through it, you see the kappa just tear away, and then turn into a, an eruption of white fires. It makes one final quack that distorts, and um. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> That's funny. Though. It's okay. It, like, it, it's a weird distortion uh, noise to the quack. As it just like bursts and combusts away, and a little rock splashes into the water where it was standing. Mm. Does it create a light when it explodes? It does not. Okay. You think you're slick with that one, didn't you? <laughs> I, I was wondering, because like, I only 
see half of the screecher thing, but I, I am so it. scared. Good. I want to see more. <laughs> I'm working on it, jeez. <laughs> Lonely Cook, it's your turn. Uh, um, you can just see it glowing and like the like light coming off of this fire. Oh, I left a minute. Okay, I'm gonna cast mirror image mm -hmm. on myself, um, and then <laughs> with my bonus section, I will move my lights. <laughs> if I can. There we go. Uh, Your mirror image is the old token. <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> they share they share the same space as me. Yeah. Um so there's three of them, so if I just keep track of how many there are. There we so, go. There we go. Um I can't even see my face anymore. Oh, yeah. uh, there's a dragon there. Uh, and I'm just gonna go split the light up so it's more light yeah hey your fire hey. like bursts off and like as like it like flies over this like you get more light reflect off of this creature as you see it's uh just follow the light of your uh, your dancing light it looks to be rusted and deteriorating and it's dented and scratched all over as you get a better look at it and you can see the wood uh chunks on it um are uh, um roll actually also as well perception uh, same with you love by boy as you can see like the wood chipped away and dented and you can see vines and uh wire and rope um in between its limbs holding it together um adding like giving it the mobility and like uh range low you it's a bit too far for you to see but low and it's a bit too dark as well even with the light but low boy you can perceive that like you the flowers that are blooming on this thing in between like in various bits of its body um on the vines are the same that are growing out of you oh dang the drama <laughs> oh dang also i wanted what? to say yes oh, dang. um <laughs> when the these guys like ate a spirit yeah. i think lo's been angry before mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but she is now furious <laughs> livid <laughs> she she feels what kira feels at every moment yeah. kira, like, angry. Lo like well now angry. i understand <laughs> yeah now you tell me what it's like to just see an, a robot that just boils your blood. <laughs> She's never want to, wanted to actually hurt anything more mm. than in this moment. Emotion unlocked. <laughs> Rage. Rage against the machine. That's actually what the, the playlist is called. No way. Mm. Anything else? Nope. Actually, I should probably move a little bit. Hmm. Just for funsies. Uh, I will move down here. I'll just hang out with Kira. Hey. You know, rage. <laughs> <laughs> I should give her rage. I should make a multi class give her rage. <laughs> she just looks at you and she she feels the heat uh, emanating off you. And then she just gives you an and looks at, the, uh, at what uh, got your attention. Even if like you can't see your eyes, um, she actually has dark vision, so she could actually see your eyes. So, uh, oh dang! What does she see in your eyes? I mean, I guess because it's Other dramatic, fire, <laughs> angry, <laughs> and yeah, just yeah, like yeah. when you're fiery, angry, and mm. your eyes are just like glowing with it. Yeah. She 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 knows she connects and like you you feel her eyes like, <laughs> look, like look down at you or well, not look down at you but look at you and she she knows and then she looks at the uh, at what's what's gained your attention as well and yeah but yeah you just want to move uh yeah that's fine. Mm -hmm.
Mm-hmm. Cool, done. She is now going to attack. And the same crystalline energy that she created earlier is she's going to summon again and then launch it at the, at the construct. It just, oh, that's cut to, well, it doesn't matter. But it's like, as soon as like it goes towards the creature or the construct, you see it just like open its mouth and just like eat the energy that like pours towards it. And you see it burst and like become more, and it changes from white blue to pink, the same pink as her crystals. And it almost become crystalline for a second as it's trying to eat. And you do see like, as that's happening, you see some of like its armor dent and break. But you see, um, we do see it doesn't like seem to have been taken much effect from that. And then, but with that, she then just charges towards it with her bat in hand ready to swing. Taking two swings. It's not a good sign for me. <laughs> hmm. As she like gets into its face, it just by the time it closes its mouth, she's able to like get one good conk onto its head causing that to like almost cave in and creating like just like her you see her crystal club dent as well and like shatter in places as soon as it hits the armor of the uh the construct and you can see the construct like just turn its head towards um towards kira and look down at her as it towers over her and as she goes for a second swing it catches the crystal um uh, crystal club and break it And you guys can't see Kira, but like she like kind of like looks like she's been frozen in place as that happens. Lo-Fi Boy, your turn. Uh... <laughs> Dang. Okay. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to um, to uh, sorry. I just want to move over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should also get and this. I want to try to speak to it. Um, seeing that it has the same flowers uh, than my, uh, as mine, I want to try to talk to it with um, the speech of leaf. Um, I want to try to talk to, well, I'm like addressing like the whole entity, but trying to talk to it like through the plants that it has. Yeah. Well, I try to. Yeah. No, no sorry, go on, go on. So I, I just want to say I'm trying to communicate and say like, um, like uh, we are not hostile. Uh, uh, don't uh, do not engage. The flowers turn when you say that. And you see, it doesn't open its mouth, but you feel like the fire like kind of waver and like burn. And as it's burning, you like can like hear noises coming off of it. Uh, that like distort glitch and just like moan and groan like a just old machine that is on its last leg and just with like its last like bits of energy trying to communicate to you and like as it's doing that it's you just hear the words intruder intruder enemy evil target uh, with each word like lo-fi boy gets like a shiver and kind of like loses all emotion and um and then, <laughs> in a low voice, uh, asks Kira, uh, I'm gonna jump over you again if that's okay. Kira doesn't move. I take a step back, and with my, my goal is to just charge it with my sword and land on top of the, mm -hmm. of 
the guy in front of Kira. Uh, if if Kira doesn't move at all and doesn't do anything, then I'll, I'll just run into her, or I'll try to jump a bit before her. You can give me this advantage for the check, but that is what I'm trying to do. Make athletics so she does not move. She's frozen in place. Okay. And like, it's almost like like you feel like that isn't even like out of anger or annoyance of you, but more so yeah, just like no. shock. Uh, okay. Do I do it with disadvantage or just normal? Or... I'll, take with normal. I'll take normal. Okay, okay. So that would be athletics. <laughs> You're able to leap over, and I would say with advantage you get attack. Oh. As you calm down, you leap over Kira and like Kira in that moment, just as you're still passing over, like she kind of like pushes you upwards uh, to give you more height. As you pass over. However, with that just sudden movement from Kira, you kind of are thrown off balance and just enough for it to like kind of like move its attention from Kira straight up to you and it's very immediate when it does move its head like it's like it doesn't waver it doesn't like change its action like you can feel like oh you can see it kind of like some of its like gears and like its machinery like struggle to like move but it's very much automatic when it does look up at you and like it just goes to sidestep you as you come crashing down beside it all right. With the remaining momentum, uh, if I can try to, as a bonus action, uh, shield bash it, I would try to do so. Go ahead. So. It's got a 10. Or 12, sorry. What's, got it, what it, what's it got to be? Uh, my strength is... Uh, 20? Mm -hmm. I think. Oh, no, no, I actually have to do a strength roll. I'm sorry. No, I think. Ah, that was a save. It's sorry. Okay. Ah! You beat it anyway. You got 18. So okay. you just, like, as soon as you land beside it and, like, you it dodges your slash, you barge into it with your shield, and your shield, like, opens up as soon as it touches uh, the, 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 the construct. And when it touches it, you, like, feel almost like a connection through, like, both through metal and plant and magic. Um, and like as soon as it touches the uh, concept, like your sh uh, your shield ripples, uh, bursting out uh, the uh, the forged magic that is like that it has within it, and like you see the concept just like get blasted back through the build uh, through the wall of the building and just like collapse onto the ground as it like gets like as it uh, gets launched through. And in that sudden moment, Kira also is able to use an attack of opportunity as it moves out of range and moves its focus from Kira to you, or as its uh, focus is now on you. Kira is going to try and attack him. And you see she summons um, her crystal uh, club again. And it goes to try and uh, slash out it, uh, smash out it. But she's still like in shock and like as her crystal mater uh, great club materializes, it dissipates immediately again as well. And you can just see like the anger that like she has in her is becoming more frantic and panicky and you can almost see tears begin to well up in her eyes. Anything else, uh, Lo-Fi Boy? Seeing that in the state that she's in, if I can like calmly put a head on her shoulder, well calmly, I'm in rage. Mm -hmm. I guess that echoing the emotions that's building up and that like we're both kind of feeling at the same time, I'd still put a hand on her shoulder. She, um, for a moment, she doesn't do anything when she she doesn't like react to your hand, but then she realizes that you you're 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 trying to connect with her, and then you see her like just like her the tears like dissipate as she tries just shaking your hand off her. And like moves, like just, like takes her eyes off you and goes back to the construct, trying to like keep her eyes, um, a move like the contact away from you to uh, to the robot. Then that will be the end. Thank you. The one beside you, a lot of is gonna try and punch you as you uh, as you focus on the other one, and it goes for two two punches. Oh, one of them does 
does hit. Yeah. It goes to punch the wall. Oh, it goes to punch you, but like misses hitting the wall. But then with the other hand, it comes beside you and then kind of like, instead of going for a punch, it grabs you by the face and then slams you into the wall where it punched, uh, where it created a dent. Bang. Dealing floor bludgeoning as the other one gets up. And as it gets up, it grabs you by the leg. And you feel a strange energy pulse through it. But like you're you kind of like have like this shock resistance built into you that just pushes back whatever it whatever it tried to do when it tried to grab you as it pulled itself back up. Focusing on you. It is now Lone Eco, your turn. Um so it was Kira's like um magic blast that they like absor absorbed right yeah. earlier. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Katsumi's still chilling there. She's she's fine. <laughs> I'm going to give another bardic inspiration to Kira. Mm -hmm. Oh, I would like to also add when um, when you mentioned that like the the blast when it eats the blast, uh, you notice its mm. fire burst upwards. Uh, but when after low fire, when it touches you, you notice that that fire become like not extinguishes but becomes smaller. Yeah. Sorry, uh, what did you want your body? Oh, it's with? on fire? No, it's not on fire, but like it's like got like various vaults and like uh like right. areas that, like are like just brimming with fire. Also thank you for the raid, mm -hmm. Pyroman uh Pyromania Pyromantic. That's the best name ever, by mm. the way. <laughs> yeah. So it like absorbed Kira's magic blast. Mm-hmm. But what was the second thing you said? Ben, when, when it, it went to touch, fire? yeah, when it touches low fire boy, the fire instead of like because it so it went up when um, Kira when it ate Kira's uh, blast, but it went down after it tried to touch low fire boy. But only this one. This was the only one that had that like the hmm. energy like radiating. Okay, um, I'm not too sure there's anything I can. Do right now. Did we decide how big Thunder Wave actually was? It is, yeah. So it's like this uh, and this and this tile. That makes sense. So it's yeah. Cool. So it'd be like a, like this square. If I draw red. This square here, but not including the tile you're on. Actually, no. I think it is also. Like, wait. Let me. Okay, <laughs> Hang on, you, the... Yeah, you, th you think of what you're gonna do, and we're gonna have a look at this. So, 15 foot cube. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, no, yeah, I, I was right, yeah. It was, it was that. It's the four. Yeah. Turn um, there for now. <laughs> Norris. Yeah. It is Kira's turn, and Kira is once again going to try and summon uh, her crystal club again. She's got body inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> she would like to use it. <laughs> She is uh, able to summon it that time. What does your body conspiration look like again uh, for this one? 
Uh, for this, for the attack roll, uh, it'll turn into the, um, let the ride you, um, mm-hmm. the sort of, it's kind of like, it sort of look like fiery lightning, if that kind of yeah. makes sense. Um, but it has to, so yeah, uh, the target of each, and each creature of your choice that you can see within five feet of it must succeed on a con save. Mm-hmm. Which I think they do. Gotcha. So I don't think they take any. Yeah, they don't take any. They didn't roll a con save. That's so they ah. fail a con save. But yeah. Um, um. As like Kira like finally is able to create like that. Um, like she's still she's trying to summon it, and like but as like your body inspiration touches her, she looks at you, and then she suddenly begins to start crying again, and with a shock of um thunder bursting off her hand and like her jewelry just starts um glistening and just vibrating in the end you also can hear um through a bit of a um a katsumi's jewelry also begin to uh, echo and um jingle and her club is uh, reformed and it looks bigger than normal this time and is just swirling with like fiery lightning um and then she goes to Smash downwards at the uh, the construct with all her rage pouring out um, as your body inspiration turns into you can see like the sh- uh, the shapes of um, lightning fire wolves uh, c- gnawing at the um, the construct as her uh, hits are caving in and denting the armor of the uh, the construct. Lofi boy, it's your turn. Um. Oh, by the way, uh, how much damage did I take from the previous hit when I was slammed into the wall? Took four. Did I... Okay, I forgot to subtract that. No, that okay, right. thank you. Um. Yeah. Um. I'm actually gonna focus on the guy that slammed me into the wall. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm gonna aim at his um, at some of the vines in his arms uh, to try to like role play me, uh, make sure that he can't like slam me to the wall with the same strength anymore. That's the idea. Yeah. Oof. Oh, uh, and yeah, I, I did, yeah, did have inspiration. Uh, okay. yeah, I had inspiration from chat did? earlier. Can I try to use it for this yeah. attack now? Your, as you, your, your aura is radiating off, uh, radiating off you from your rage. It glows yellow for for the brief second as you uh you use that inspiration spirit to help uh your attack. Roll it, uh, roll again. That's- Oh, it's a D1. Oh, uh, I just roll again? Yeah, straight uh, another attack roll. Oh, okay. Okay. That hits. Oof, okay. Um, so, yeah, aiming at the vines. And as a bonus action, actually, instead of pushing it away, mm-hmm. um, I just want to try to make it prone. Um... So I'll do a strength roll uh, oh. with a shield bash. Uh, strength here. As you slash at it, you and like the your 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 slash downwards gives a yellow glow as like it cuts through the end. When it cuts into the vines, it cuts off the left arm. And it drops to the ground with a heavy thud. Um, and you can see that rainbow, like uh, magical liquid, is leaking out of it that shimmers like the uh, the stones all around you guys. And um, you just see that leak out into the ground and drip into the f- uh, soil. And it fails the, uh, the strength safe and it gets knocked to the ground. And you can see, like, as it fought, hits the ground, uh, it creates a heavy dent in the ground as well. And you can see. It almost like falls perfectly in place where like its hand is just within reach or its vines 
from where its um, its arm is fallen, uh, so it shows almost touching um, where it was caught. Anything else? Uh, but it is prone. Nah. Yeah, that's okay. You just see Katsumi ball, and like you just feel the air rush past you as she runs, runs to you guys. And I would like to add, uh, Sam, when you guys were jumping over each other, you didn't need to. You could actually like step into the same range of the uh, same space. Uh, <laughs> and I didn't know. With a dash action, you, Lo, you actually see like a sonic blast come off of, or a sonic boom come off of uh, Katsumi for a brief second. As you just see uh, Lo, uh, Lo Kaibu just sliding across the ground, you see Katsumi in like a crouched uh, punching um, pose. As like you don't see her punch, but you hear um, a blast of sound coming from her. As you see a um, she tries to attack the Warforged. and you see two heavy dents. Uh, break into the Warforged armor. She actually technically would have had advantage on that one, so like... <laughs> but she just like slides That's in. Crazy. You just see... She just slides in and she just punches two holes into the Warforged. And you can see where she's punched, you can see the armor is like crumbled into dust. And you can see the vines aren't there anymore. Like she's like punched straight through the thing. And it just falls to the ground. And as it hits the ground, you see the fire just extinguish. And you can see its eye look at you, Love Boy, for a hot second. And as it like the eye goes from that white blue, you see a eye very much like yours. Before it um before it just like van d uh, turns off essentially. And colour and just it's gone. That one's that one's done as it hits the ground. And you see Katsumi just look at you with a very steely glance. Um, without any, like, smile or anything. She just looks at you. For, for, for a second. Almost as if, like, she's, like, warning you. Uh, and it's the last one. Like, the oh, white boy's about to cry, like... Oh, no! <laughs> Everyone's crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and the final one is going to try and get up. But as it's trying to get up, it just starts pulling away at the rubble. And the rubble just starts collapsing on in this building. And it just gets crushed from under the weight of all the stone and rubble that falls over it. And uh, you guys are now out of combat. Well, if I probably would fall to his knees and just look at, like, kind of like touch the pieces of the broken forge in front of him. Mm. Katsumi gets up and, like, she just gives you a pat on the shoulder and then like, walks away. I'm just gonna move uh, you for a second. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, they don't give off light anymore. And then Lo Fi Boy would say, like, why does it always have to be like this? Kira then Kira turns to you and asks, "Like what?" As Loniko comes to you with three different Loniko swirling around her, <laughs> <laughs> not to not to ruin the tension or the the emotion. It disappears after a minute. <laughs> ah, so yeah, she she'll still be there with her mirror image for a bit. But Kira then just like, yeah. Kira does like what? What do you mean? Like that in death. Why? Can I just say that? And you hear like still like Lo-Fi Boy actually crying like it. It was just existing, but we were intruders or something, but. We couldn't communicate, and... And 
now it's dead. Maybe it had a name. It's just gone back. If anything, Kira just says as she walks away from you towards Katsumi. What do you mean back? Let oh, she's gone like... back. I thought she was saying <laughs> that. Sorry. Yeah, no, she does like mutter that under her breath as she walks past to Katsumi. Yeah, Lonico had like squeezed past Kira and is just like she's gonna cast a cure wounds on the fly boy as she's putting like her hands comfortably on his shoulder. <laughs> she just like is she tiptoeing? <laughs> or like well, I don't know. Yeah, he's oh, no, he's, oh, no, he's kneeling down. So oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid eye. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> you can reach this time. Go ahead, roll your reach. one DA. Um, it's on my sheet. Um, sorry, I'm gonna find it. There we go. You get eight healing, love my boy. So, as a somber jingle, is it? Would, oh shit, that's the one thing. I took away his health. <laughs> What, uh, how do you cast your wounds? What does it look like? Um, because she's like putting her hands on his shoulder comfortably. It's probably she's probably like just using the music from her bell on her mask, sort of jingling and swaying, mm. um, and just like having it flow through her hands. It probably gets a little bit warm, um, but like the nice, nice warmth. Um, yeah. Lonico. As that happens, um, um, sorry, I will also add, like, you see the magic that, like, is leaking from the vines on the, uh, the, 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 the construct. You see that, like, almost turn into solid crystal form and, like, flow and swirl around your hands and adds a bit of extra healing to Lopai Boy. Oh. as the color in the liquid uh, disappears. And it just now looks like ooze. Or doesn't even like, there's no like liquid at all now after like, it turned into that healing energy. Yeah, after she's done that, she'll probably just kneel down next to the fly boy. Do you know any song? Um, because you're good with your carry. I don't know if Forge things turn into yokai, but just in case, could you could you just play just something so that it it doesn't become a yokai that will be troublesome for other people? Well, they seem to be eating the yokai. Like the one we saw earlier. Uh, but I... I can play something. Do I know... Like, I don't know if there's like a yokai specific one, but I guess something related you know to... Like the festival we yeah. saw the other day. I won't ask you to roll uh, performance or anything. You, um... You're, you just start playing something that's reminiscent to the, uh, the music that was playing at the Horoma Parade. And also, uh, that, like, you've, uh, you take uh, motifs and inspiration from various um, songs you've played at the temple uh, growing up. And like, that you've heard from like, the various like, uh, funeral rites and the various uh, spiritual uh, healing music and such. And like, as, that, like, as you just start playing, you just... You feel the 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 wild magic uh, leaking up the crystals, almost also even like, not take form, but like it resonates as as you're playing, and like the the tone in the cave almost feels very somber and just melancholic and sad, and. Uh, If it's okay with you guys, would you guys like to take a little break? 
Yeah. Ah. <laughs> sure. We'll uh we'll take a break there. So yeah, um everyone, we're gonna take about five, ten ish minutes um to grab some water and just to um to continue exploring the uh the ruins. Uh, so if you want to, uh, go take a little mental break yourself and uh, have a little walk around, maybe grab some water. And uh, we'll be back in, in a short amount of time. And I'm going to throw on a quick ad of a minute and a half when we, before we get back, just so anyone that joins the next half an hour doesn't get any pre-rolls. I hope you guys don't mind. And if you're enjoying this and vibing, thank you for sticking around. It's, I'm having an absolute blast with this session. Some really cool stuff's happening. Um, so yeah, we'll see you in a hot second. Um, be back soon. Yeah. Bye.
Hi, we're back. Uh, let me get the music on again because it's stopped playing because I'm stupid. Bang. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Welcome back, everyone. Uh, if you've just returned, uh, the party have just uh, entered. Um, they went down into the depths of uh, even further below Isoto uh, through the sewers. And um, they met uh, Kira and Katsumi, who are the two the tiefling and the um oh my goodness what's happened i made chat pop out and now it's gone and everything is like nope but yeah i made a. Uh... oh sorry no i made and then the party um they started exploring had a had a bit of rp and i uh, learned a bit about the wild magic on the stone and uh, this is the ancient uh ruins of old or oh, not even old isotope this is ancient isotope and um they fought a bunch of uh Yokai and two strange construct creatures. See ya. And like, like I I found like oh my god the emotions like is honestly like the simplest way to say like what's happening is like this. What that like the the pet pet and then like that? Oh, oh they can't <laughs> they, they can't hear that Sam. What? No! Give me a second. Right, they ask you how you are. You you. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine, but you're not really fine. Yeah, I was... <laughs> they say you're fine. No, I'll, I'll, I've got you. I've got you covered, boo. I was so ready, but it's so true. <laughs> Lou just plays the hey, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing just fine. I am lied, I'm dying inside. There you go, guys, I got it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Uh, you're raid really for fine. my oh, can't get into it because <laughs> Welcome, Raiders. I've just put my players through emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> We're Thank trying to process that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, unlimited. Unlimited. I don't know how to pronounce that. But thank you, unlimited. 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 But thank you for and thank you, Red Silks. How was your stream? How was all the things? Okay. I'll quickly recap the session because I just did, but like it's it's it's. It. Let's brief skim through. They've gone down into hi, uh, easy rays. They um they've gone down into the past the sewers and into deep ancient isoto. And while in ancient Isotope, the party have um, met Akira, who is this tiefling here, and Katsumi, who is this earth shinasi lady here. And um, there was a bit of arguing because Lo-Fi Boy and Kira do not like each other one bit. And <laughs> <laughs> Lo, Nico, and Katsumi did their best to um, to like ease the tension. And after a bit of uh, arguing, they were able to just explore, uh, learning that Kira and Katsumi have lost their little sister. And are searching for the little sister in the uh, in the the ruins of ancient uh, ancient Isoto. If I zoom out, and while um, in the ruins, they um, they had uh, four. Um... Jesus, what's happened, Sam? What's he done? Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, uh, Miko, for the uh, for stopping my. History was great. Sounds like you guys haven't. We are. I've I've put them through a lot of stress, which I'm just about to get to, because uh, they had to fight a uh, Warforged. Uh, well, they had to fight a bunch of yokai, but then uh, a Warforged came along, and uh, Lo-Fi Boy is a Warforged in the party, and uh, he there was a lot of internal conflict from there, and a bit of like drama considering Kira also was having a moment, and now uh, and uh, and we ended the session with a bit of a. Well, we we got back. We took a break. With the characters taking having a bit of a cry, and now uh, they're finished crying. Well, I don't know if they're, still <laughs> crying. they're probably still crying. I for once was not crying. Yes, but, but, <laughs> but thank you guys for the raid, and I hope you guys enjoy your session, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your, uh, your weekend. Yeah, so I continue. So what are you guys doing? Uh, no, no, it's like we're just. I'm wiping off my tears, but uh, I, I'm not that much because I know they'll come back. So I'm just ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, if you want to uh, have the screen for the map making, the very ugly map making. Oh, is it off? It's only functional. Yeah, for some reason, it seems to be off. How about now? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you also, Sam, for the five uh, gifted subs. 
Oh yeah, it's just uh, I guess thank you for making me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making me cry. He swipes up. Oh, uh, also, uh, that's actually another point. Uh, chat by um, you can also partake in the session by using channel points to activate layer actions, support the party, ask them a question that we'll ask at the um, at the end of the session or during the break or the beginning, depending on when you uh, redeem that. Um, but yeah. So, all right. Yeah, I guess Lo's just been playing her her song mm. um, on her shamazin. While you guys are playing, um, uh, sorry, go on. Do you want? No, that's fine. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Uh, when you guys are playing, Kira is like listening, but she is like wandering away, and like just like goes over to the the waters, and like Katsumi uh, follows, and you just hear them like just whispering and talking to each other. Um, as they go, as they like wander away. They're super sus. I'm just gonna say like. <laughs> I, I like them, but also, mm, I actually, in a desperate attempt, I will pick up the, the forged body in front of me. Mm -hmm. um, Isn't it really big? It's, it is tall. It's about like seven, eight feet. So, so it was I'm kind of hunched over. It. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to drag its body and lean it against the, the forged no uh, strength for think here. Strength? Okay. Sorry, I'm also Did I say forged? I meant uh, the wild magic thing. Mm -hmm. Wait, you're dragging the wild magic or are you dragging the, the war forge? I'm dragging the, the body over to the wild magic uh, mm -hmm. Shiseki stones. Okay, okay. You... Uh, did my roll come through? It did, 17. Yeah. You're able to drag it without, with a bit of a struggle, and it does, like, you You see the ground getting scratched and dug up as you're dragging it across the ground. And as you're dragging it across, you can also hear echoing throughout the chambers, and even further down the inclined hill of the cavern, uh, the sound of, like, some, like, chains jingling, moaning and groaning uh, machinery. And, um... And like wet footsteps and other like jittering and gi uh, gibbering from yokai all over the caverns. And uh, what are you tossing it onto the the shiseki stones? Uh, tossing it wouldn't be the Sorry, word I'd sorry. use. It more like uh, <laughs> placing it, uh, like as if it'd be leaning onto it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, with having touched the magic from before. Um, I'd like to cast a Druidcraft cantrip, mm -hmm. and I think I'd like uh, to create this kind of like um, if the flowers uh, on the body kind of like blossom, if it's possible for the arm and the vines to reattach themselves, I'd do that just so that it's like uh, yeah. like respectfully placing the body there. As you do that, the air becomes very still down in the cavern, and you see the vines grow out from the arm and go towards uh, Loniko. You can see the arm over here, the vines reaching out as well, and they latch onto each other, pull, pull themselves together, and like, wrap around. As like you can see the um, the warforged look like stuck into the stone essentially as like it's um precariously uh placed onto uh, like balanced onto the stones you can see it begin it's glowing um from within and like, you can see like the vines are moving and growing and like becoming uh blooming and becoming the flowers that are growing that are all over your body look boy but you see that the the forge itself the eyes and the fire don't reignite and it just stays there lifeless um, whatever spirit or uh, power that was within, it has faded on. And then, uh, having done that, um, I just step away and 
tell Voniko, like, okay, um, let's, let's follow Kira, like, and she, she still owes me an explanation of going back. I didn't understand what that meant. You hear, yeah. as you walk away, you hear, um, distorted echoing and mechanical, uh, um, grinding noises as the distorted sound of the words intruder and um, target enemy um, invader um, protect um, Bakoran those words like just distort and just echo coming off of the body of the, uh, the Warforged rippling through the air towards you Did you hear that, Loniko? I did. I think... The spirit we saw earlier, it had a leaf in it, and the size of these houses... I think maybe... This was a Bukuran village. It, it, the spirits it, that are left are the Bukurans, and these... Uh, forged uh, well I saw them eat a spirit that was the fire that gave them power the um oh. Kira walks up beside you um the Bukhoran this this was where they first settled in Trailer. she says in a very like dry tone uh, almost as if, like, she has been, like, as if her mouth is dry and, like, she's, like, tired and exhausted and just, like, just emotionally drained and just sad. Mm. And what did you mean earlier by, by it just went back? What do you mean? I think maybe um, Kira was talking about the spirit that was um, that had been eaten by the forged. Spirits come, spirits it, go. They where they come from, they go back. And I, I'm different, right? I wouldn't know. Katsumi. Right. Katsumi. Um, I <laughs> Katsumi comes up to you. Cause uh I I actually I I mean I could look if you'd like. How? Um I'm an engineer. I my my prosthetics, I built these ones myself. All the ones I had growing up, they never felt right. So you'd look inside of me? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess, is there a way I can sense if there's a spirit in Lo-Fi Boy? <laughs> I guess. Because? Yes, I'm yes, yes. That's, yeah, no, no I'm, I'm trying to think. Like, I am. I, I would yeah. like you to <laughs> check something. Let's see. I'm going to say roll insight with or arcana with advantage. As you like, as you like, like look, uh, look at Lo-Fi Boy and try. Like, how how are you trying to sense the spirit? Um, I guess I'd probably go up to him, um, and if he let me, like, put my hands on his like chest, I guess, where I would assume the center of his his workings are. 
Um, and just like close her eyes and just like focus on the energy, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, where is Love Fi Boy's core? Sarah? Um, I do believe that it would be somewhere around in the chest area. As you... My idea is that, like, the plants that grow, or, like, all around the body, like, they're rooted, like, inwards mm. towards the center. Yeah. You... You see Katsumi uh, pull out a toolbox from, um, from a pocket from within her, um, like, she pulls uh, her, like, uh, kimono uh, jacket open just a bit just so she can pull out a little tiny tool little uh, repair kit uh, and she just starts like looking through her tools as uh, she watches as Kira and uh, Katsubi both watch you um, Loniko press your hand on uh, Lo-Fi Boy and immediately as soon as your hands touch the metal it's extremely cold frigid cold uh, very strange uh, very strange considering how like over time you'd imagine he maybe might heat up or he might get uh, worked up or he might just at least be room temperature, but no, this is extremely cold. Um, mm. But you do hear a pulse, or feel a pulse from where you touch at his core. It feels very muffled. And with that 21 insight check, you're, you think back to the very basic uh, shamanic uh, training you've been given uh, to guide you to become a fully-fledged shaman. Just to get you push you in the right direction. And um, you, like the, the air, becomes still again as uh, you can feel the magic resonating from all over you. And you can sense within Lo Fi Boy the same energy of um, wild magic surging from within him, coursing through him like uh, like veins, uh, through the roots in his flowers. And you can, see, you, can, you can trace hundreds, thousands, and millions of roots all over Lo-Fi's Lo body. And Lo-Fi Boy, you can feel the flowers in your body turn towards Loniko for a second. And you can, you sense that like he is, the magic within him is deep rooted and crucial to his being. But you can also sense there is at least one spirit within him that is also there that just moves through his uh the roots within him that aren't that isn't the plant spirits this is a spirit of its own mm. that just and like when you look into his eyes you can see you can see into the window of the souls as it were through uh as you're like trying to sense what um if, if he has a spirit core or a magic core within him. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so she'll probably just slowly like put her hands down and kind of get out of his, his space because she probably had to be quite close because mm -hmm. he's very tall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and just kind of, when she isn't really sure of herself, she always kind of holds her shams and like pretty close. Um, uh, and she's just gonna be like, "Well, um, Mister Lo-Fi Boy, uh, I could sense the wild magic like from these stones, and um, is." And definitely your core it pulses through all the roots in you um in terms of spirits there was one i could sense it wasn't your core but there was one there Okay. Do 
so but the, my core itself it it didn't seem to be made out of this spirit energy no uh no the the spirit um sort of traveled along your roots um the the core of your being is this wild magic like from these stones and okay 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 mm -hmm. so i'm functioning based on wild magic not on spirits would be a good assessment of the situation as far as i can tell yes as for the spirit could it be the one that that you you made me eat or that i ask you to summon so that i could eat the other time remember when the first time i tasted something i think that's a likely explanation so when you eat spirits they become part of you it is oh. what food does so yeah interesting that's actually going to be super interesting for research purposes. Maybe there are some spirit flowers that so exist. But um, I'm not so uh uh Kitsume. Katsumi. Uh, Katsumi. Uh, you you don't need to to check. Um, your here inside I, I i believe loniko's assessment i i've been with her long enough for her to well to trust her her intuitions she she's usually very correct when she makes assumptions as these mm -hmm. i mean if it wasn't for her we wouldn't even have our temporary adventures league licenses with everything that you did with Mr. Omaru. So... Um... Well... Are you right, Lo-Fi Boy? Yeah, just a bit in shock, though. I'm not sure what, what it makes... Well, what that makes up the current forge that we're encountering, they wouldn't be exactly like my kin, since I would be technically more of a wild magic forge. Hmm. From what I can tell, you seem to be a unique circumstance. Really? I don't I mean, know much about Horged, but I don't think they all run on wild magic and vines. Right. I mean, I guess you never know. If, if this place has existed and people could probably collect some of these cores, um, here again, most to say they'll they'll be coming to get these cores soon. Definitely, I don't think uh, Isotol's uh, Isotol will last once they once they get word of this. Uh, what do you mean, Isotol won't last when the earthquake uh, comes down south? I think uh, he'll uh, he'll want to know about these. These stones down here. And then... Uh, and then? And then. But they're going to destroy a little city just to collect these stones? Yes. 
That's the reason they're playing How as well. How do you know this? Because, because I just I do know these things. I, I have to know these things. Mm. If I don't, know, then I, I don't deserve to be where I am. If I didn't know this. What about the people of Acido City? Wouldn't be my problem. Katsumi just Kira puts who? her sh hands on uh, Katsumi's shoulders. Wait, Katsumi puts her hands on uh, Kira's shoulders. <laughs> Kira. What about your sister? Should what if you this? don't find your sister and they take a city? We will. Because, like, she won't be here then if she was taken. She'd, she'd, she'd be she'd be an Edo, Edo Sha. So as long as your sister's not here, anything's fine with you. The whole city would be gone, and that's it. Well, I have no say. If if, if the Shia Dakaru wants to come down, well, the Shia Damaru wants to come down and 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 take and take and take the, the, the city, take its stones. So like, why 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 should I? What can I do? What, can, what am I meant to say? If my lord wants to uh, take the stones, he, he will. Like the same way he's taking over the entire continent. But Kira. how would they know about these? Are you saying other people have been down here? If I don't tell him, then, then the basket hack will. Mika Baba will tell them. The basket hag that took your sister? Mm. But won't we have to fight her to get your sister back? We'll do anything to get our sister back. So that would mean the basket hag wouldn't be able to tell them. Which means you guys would be telling them. Please tell me I'm wrong. My lord would have to know. I can't... I can't hide something like this from him. And I shouldn't. Mm. When Kira. she says that, you notice... Actually, roll insight. Uh, and then, sorry, what did you want to ask, uh, Lonika? I was gonna ask, um, what's your what's your relationship to the I forgot his name? The Shia Dakaru. Um, I mean, Shia Dakaru yes. of uh, of where? <laughs> Earth. <laughs> Brain can't do names. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, it's really hard. To I don't remember, know. I've yeah. actually like you guys have actually heard his name in game, like technically, but like you, like you would have mm. heard, heard it, um, heard it from uh, in like over the news and radio. Mm. When uh, Lo Fibo, you you catch, you pick up on them slightly, but like Lonika, you notice her accent when like she is angry and like when she's like speaking like she she clearly speaking with uh passion and like drive and just there's a lot of emotion in her words and as she's like speaking you notice her her dialect shifts from modern like the common way of uh, speaking modern machine which is a mix of like the various uh, whistle crackle rumble and sprinkle um dialects but when she speaks with passion and she get, and she is speaking with uh, the driver that she's speaking right now, her accent goes from a mixed common to rumble, which is the which sounds like she roll she's rolling her letters and adding extra emphasis on the words that like on on um, on a lot of the words and adding a lot of import to to those words that she's emphasizing, and like you can hear like bits of weaving in her words when she speaks, uh, like she she. Doesn't like mix languages, but she like throws um, weaving like tongue into it. That like mm. 
the words that like have like that have become commonplace in uh, the normal language. Um, my um, to... I've DM'd you a question. I know, I know. By the way, I I shall answer when you get the chance. My relation to to my lord is 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 not is none of your business. You you don't need to know what wh where we where we stand with with uh with Shidakaru Haruka. I have one question though. The basket hag. She just took away your sister, correct? Yes. Does she need your sister for anything specific? She just turns away from you. We just want to help. It, is your sister in danger? Kira, wait! She just walks away and like, um, Katsumi like, kind of like, grabs you to stop you. I, I think I think we you should you should stop the questions. It's, it's not your place. To, it's not something. I actually go at, unless she's physically is trying to stop me. I'm actually going after Kira. If you try to, she will try to physically restrain you. Okay, so strength time. <laughs> and. Uh, and please answer my question, please, because will, it's also very um, important. Okay. Do you remember how many times you used it during the last session? Yes. Alright, then you reduce just that one. So it reset up until that point. Except for the one you just used, sorry, my mistake. Okay, 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 okay. What am I looking for? Oh, Katsumi. Uh, NPCs, NPCs, NPCs. No one, one. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's beautiful. You, you walk with an immense amount of purpose and drive, but as soon as you try to, Katsumi, Katsumi's grip it tightens on you and you feel her fingers digging into your metal when she does this and like you're you're still trying to push through but she's still trying to hold you in place and like you can just feel the ground beneath both you cracking as you're like holding each other like or you're trying to push past and she's trying to keep you there it's... as a bonus action um can i enter rage <laughs> go ahead With how I understand things right now, like rolling the D hundred, mm -hmm. this isn't good. Why did I roll one twenty? Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, sixty four. Is that the same thing again? No, no. I... If that's the same thing, that would be funny. It might actually. It be. is the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> What are the chances? Lo, Nico, roll for me a, a uh, wisdom save. And Kira's also gonna roll a wisdom save. So, um, at what happens again as a recap to this wild magic surge, the wild magic energy that's coming from my core seems to like swell up in my head. The plants also shift and start blooming uh, quite a lot in my face. And as the wild magic energy accumulates, it sort of like ripples like a drop of water. And when it reaches the minds of uh, creatures around me, I get, I see their intentions um, for like the, their next action, basically, which would, if they fail the wisdom save, and which would give me advantage on. Or it would, would give them disadvantage on them trying to attack me. Mm -hmm. Until the next round. So Kira was 7, Katsumi is 15. And I'm gonna roll another one. 
Is does this count as a surprise round? I would I would count this as a surprise. She's not expecting you to attack her. Okay. So uh, uh, first, Lonika, what what would be your action from the moment Lo-Fi Boy tries to attack Katsumi? Um. <laughs> I mean, she was just gonna go and turn towards Kira, but I guess now she'd just be turning around and looking at Lo Fi Boy and getting ready to do something, but God, she don't know what. Mm. <laughs> as, as she wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> as those ripples happen. Uh, and pass uh, Lo Loniko, they go to Kira, and Kira's instinct from the moment um, you do something, her, you see her summon one of her crystal blasts in the ripples to you. And when you do the same for Katsumi, you see, you see a multitude of different things that happen. You see her, one where she tries to attack you and she keeps missing and hitting the wall, another where she blows seven dents into your armor reducing you to dust another where she slashes at the air cutting the air in two and a third is where like she runs and kira run with her roll initiative because um, you will have surprise okay. don't you? you will have you will still have surprise okay okay and i'll put on uh, the playlist <laughs> This is for Incital City. I'm doing this for Incital City. You don't understand, like... <sighs> oh no! These rolls are so... <sighs> Why'd you do this to me? <laughs> do, you want to, do you want to tell you what I actually have on my mind? What? Huh? What? So... If we stop them from finding Kira, they will consider it too dangerous to report the information. And then by keeping them separate from each other and having Kira stay in Isito City, basically we're making sure that Rocky won't be in Isito. Like, basically we want to protect Rocky right now. But if she finds her sister and then towards the wild magic things then we're in deep shit <laughs> like right. then we have to get out of Isoto City ASAP no and we problem. have no idea where Rocky is you have your you have your surprise round what do you want to do? I... I actually, I want to throw, um, my, my, okay, so my intent here, just to be clear, is uh, just to knock them out, uh, it is not to kill, mm -hmm. um, and I want to start by uh, throwing my hand axe at Kira. Okay. E. Almost instinctively, she turns to see, like, your hand axe coming to her, and she just sidesteps it as your hand axe goes flying and lands in this Shiseki stone here. As you see it hit the Shiseki stone, there's, like, a ripple that comes off of it as that explodes, and, like, just a ex firework of, like, spells erupt from uh, that stone. And I'm going to just do this to add to the, dine to the things. If it had this this stone, correct? Yeah, that's stone. As okay. like fire go, as like lights go off, revealing, revealing bits of the uh, more of the cavern. As like even like the ceiling gets like lit up from the some of the various fireworks that go off of that one stone. Kira turns. How dare you! How dare you! With fire in her eyes and just rage, and you see she's crying as well now. We, we can find another way. We, you don't have to lead to the destruction of Aceto City. We've 
We've all seen enough destruction. And as a bonus action, I'll try to sh to shove um, uh, Katsumi. Go ahead. So I'm gonna do the strength roll. As she's holding you, she doesn't expect you to pull out, like throw your hand axe and then shove her with a shield. And she, you do catch her completely up by surprise and just stun her, knocking her back. Is it 10 feet or? I don't know, it's just five. Five. She gets pushed well, I, back I actually in surprise. Get... Would I get attacked? No, that would be weird. That would would I hit though? You wouldn't. Nah, okay. Cause, but like, nah, it's the same thing. Okay, cool. And then turning to Katsumi, I would tell her. You just see this shock on her eyes. I showed you what would happen if you messed with us as well. And you see uh, the like energy flowing in her arms just begin to glow a very vibrant orange and red and pink. I'm sure no one wants to end up like the forged we just defeated. Can we have a talk late before you. we just run away from each other? We aren't running. Well, Kira, you were running half a second ago. I'm sorry. Anything else? No, that'll be the end of my turn. Katsumi launches herself at you like a rocket. You don't see her. like As fast as she's been pushed away from you, in double that speed, she's already on you. You don't see her even like get within within your space. But you see her fist flying at you. You're able to dodge the second one, quick, reactively pulling your shield to the side, almost as if, as if like the magic within you is pulling the shield to you to your side. But as soon as your shield up, she punches through the gra gaps in between the leaves. And you feel like your armor, like well, your your metal plating caving in from her blows. Kira's almost in shock as she's just like in surprise and just rage begins swirling her crystalline energy and tries throwing one of her blasts at you. What would you do if you were me? You won't be the future empress. So it doesn't matter. As she launches an eldritch blast at you. She'd have half cover, but to be fair, it was a nat twenty. Yeah, it was nat twenty. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. Trying, I'm trying to think, like, cause like, like, she's not, she's not trying to touch Lonika. Below you, like, you feel the world ripple from the energy that's swirling off of her uh, slash. Um. As, like, yeah, you just feel the entire, like, the energy around you is rippling and the world shaking. As you, like, look up and you can see into the crystal and you see the world weave from within the chains of her Eldritch Blast. Um, and as soon as they hit you, Love Fire Boy, you feel, you feel your core almost like crack under the pressure of her blast. And, like, the world, words that she, uh, she mentions, Empress, ring in your head and almost re reverberate of all of all the chambers within your uh, hollow body as you smash into the stone uh, caved in from some of the um, the punches that uh, Katsumi gave in you and now just you feel these chains all around you just hanging onto you and as pink crystalline dust falls off of you love high boy it's your turn Uh, while 
as a player, I gather my thoughts. Uh, holy fucking fuck, Kaz, what the fuck? Holy shit, what the hell is going on? Oh my god, this is so fucking crazy. A bunch of bad what? decisions. Um, uh, I don't know why you're so fucking surprised, you dumbass bitch. If you were in this room, I would be slapping you in the face. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna have a fucking heart attack tonight. Jesus no Christ! No way! There's only one thing I can do in this moment. Um. Um. Wait. I just want to make sure I'm doing this correctly. Um. Uh, Is it dying? Uh, You're doing a great job. <laughs> Let's get ready for a small child to have a fucking breakdown. Because it's coming. Like, ah, oh, dang it. I wanted to end my, my, my rage, but it doesn't... Wait, does my rage give you can, you me actually... Yeah, uh, uh, as a bonus action, I can end my rage, yeah? Yeah. But I do have resistance to bludgeoning damage, oh, I have you? to say. Sorry, yeah, mistake, mistake, I'll fix it. Okay. You are in less danger, but still an immense amount. <laughs> are you at you little <laughs> to self even more, you? I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I did it again. I have just a habit of just reducing your health. I don't know why, only you. I wonder why. I don't know. Maybe the number of times he said, like, oh, my boy's dead, like... Yeah. Well, I mean, he's, he's the one that's got the death wish. Oh my god, death to me. wish! Katsumi has bardic Rocky. inspiration as well. <laughs> Fucking hell. <sighs> it's your turn, Lofa. Uh, yeah, what do you want to do? I know, I know, I know. I'm considering my options. I'm sorry. It's very difficult. Um... Um, I gotta say, I didn't think I'd ever have to use this playlist so soon. <laughs> it's uh, called Kick-Ass Kira. <laughs> oh god, the Bardic Inspiration last 10 uh, minutes is probably is still there, yeah. Mm. <laughs> the... oh, you just read it through the rules as fast as you can. No, minute, please! <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, okay, okay. Um, how is... Do I have any... Dang. Okay, but like, I really want to try to just get. Mm, I have manacles in my inventory. Can I? Can I try to? To would it would it cost an action to try to use them? Basically, is my question. Yes. Okay. But then I I would try to put them on uh, Katsumi. Or uh, slight hand or dexterity. You're trying to put handcuffs on a fucking monk. Mm, <laughs> you absolute psychopath. I mean, that's one way to stop her. I think maybe a bit. <laughs> Looks like boy, you're under arrest. <laughs> He's fucking dying on the ground. <laughs> I didn't hear no okay. bell. So. I will do a sleight of hand. <laughs> Decided he's gonna be as, judged jury and executioner. As soon as like you have like like you've been just smashed into a wall by uh, Kira's eldritch blast, you um you see uh, Katsumi like pull her hand back uh, away from Katsumi's uh, um I mean uh, Kira's blast. And in just that sudden moment, as like you see some of the pink um, uh, dust and chains falling off of your body, you're able to pull out a man, a set of manacles, and just like hook them to Katsumi's arm. And like she's like in sh shock as you do this, as you get both her arms. And then she just like is furious. She looks almost as angry as Kira like would normally look, which is a I, I feel would be a from what you've what you've witnessed of the two characters. I think it's um it's something. And well, at least chat gave you inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because oh I god. sure fucking ain't. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, and the the last thing that I 
want to do on my turn is just like turn to Kira and say honestly just stop we have a friend we're trying to save if you lead the destruction of Acero City we'll lose them forever just as you might lose your sister if we don't find her she just she looks like she just can't muster a single word and she doesn't know what to like do I like, don't understand why you started to fight for this. You could have just said things. Uh, look, can I roll a persuasion on that? Roll, or, roll, or did sorry. I already do my action with the manacles? Go ahead, roll persuasion. I don't know why I rolled a Christmas save. There was no need. Ignore that Christmas save I rolled. <laughs> she, her, she's still shaking with rage. Less violently, is the way I would put it. Okay. And then, um, I don't care if she gets an attack of opportunity, but I would move towards uh, Kira now, actually, with the, the rest of my things. I'm thinking, what would she say? Cause she would, she would say something. Who would say what? Kira, Kira is gonna say something. I'm just trying to know what she say. Okay, yeah, 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 no worries. I know what I would say, you dumb fucking bitch. <laughs> you are so lucky you're in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> she just like, yeah, she just like looks at you and just get away from me. Is all she says, but like she doesn't like like the anger in her voice is almost like not gone, but it's a lot. It's cold compared to like the fiery passion she has in her anger. She normally displays. This is ice cold. She is. She stops shaking as well, but you do see her her jewelry begin to start sh vibrating and shaking. Fine, I answer back, and the rest of my movement, I just walk away. Okay. You're lucky. As you try to walk away, you just see her just like, uh, low. you just see, um, through the seal, you see she draws her, like, or she creates her crystal uh, club. But Lofo was able to just like, run, like walk as fast as he can away from her. I imagine. <laughs> well, she's like so like close in the way, time. she doesn't even like do anything. It's like the first time. The first time she was mad against me, I wasn't doing anything and she was missing her things. Like, they we're just replaying the first time we've met, but with <laughs> the higher stakes. Yeah. Lo, Nico, your turn. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> She's just gonna be looking at everybody and being like... Um... <laughs> Everyone stop, please, look my boy, what are you doing? Hatsumi looks down uh, at you, and Akira then looks down at you. I look back to Loniko. Like, she sounds, like, very panicky and just really, like, she sounds on the verge of like crying <laughs> you do see that when like you do start when you open your magic system, you see katsumi's reaction from anger does change to guilt almost and just like confliction and kira like She likes you. She wouldn't. She's not gonna look down at you in disgust. But like it's the closest thing to like disgust for someone that like she likes. Is the way I'd put it. She's trying really hard to be disgusted. <laughs> but yeah, she she like yeah. She's trying to look like she's trying to keep her composure and look angry and powerful. But like she yeah, she does like look to wipe her when she looks down at you and like is almost like upset as well. Anything else? I think Lo's just gonna be looking like between everyone and just turning and being like, please don't. I know he he attacked first and I don't know why, but please don't. 
don't hurt him anymore. I can't. I can't watch another friend just die in front of me, please. Both of their expressions drop. Damn. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um. So I'm gonna just like. Okay. Oh shit. You son of a bitch. <laughs> One of you guys saw it. it to me. Yeah, I think it was you. Someone saw something that they shouldn't have seen. What? Don't worry about it. But yeah. I didn't um, see good. Like Perfect. Happened. Wonderful. That's, that's, that's how I want it to be. As, like, Katsumi and Kira's uh, reactions drop, you hear... This. As, like... Hello. The world gets yeah. torn open. Over here. <laughs> As she, like, slice up... Here, you might not see it, love my boy. Oh, my God. As you see, like, yeah, the air slice into two and open up. And you can see Kiko's face from within. Uh, Loniko, and you see Kira and um, Kira and um, uh, Katsumi both look at the uh, the hole that's just been torn in the world. And then Kira turns to uh, Katsumi, Was that you? And then um, Katsumi turns to Kira, No, was that you? And then they both, she, Kira just shakes her head, and they both just see Kira, uh, Kat, um, Kiko, um, and they both lunge towards the um the hole and Loniko, could you roll a perception check for me fucking hell i, I also I, I i can see you it's can like see? straight like right, yeah, yeah it's a straight line for, for me okay uh, 21 okay 15 all right so as like uh, katsumi and kira lunch uh, lunge towards it before they like both swarm in front of it and like block both of your visions you guys um wait wait okay. like what yes. your voice is gone odd yeah oh. you talk don't talk from the glitch talk talk oh, sorry. In, in this plane of existence, <laughs> it sounded like please. you were underwater that was really is, it, is this better <laughs> yeah, yeah it's you're, better. You're, you're, you're okay <laughs> oh wow but yeah um as like yeah as like you see the world open and you can see kiko's face you can see this strange creature holding her uh, by the face. And you can see, um, like, wrapped around uh, Kiko as well, is like these green crystal chains. Um, and the creature's holding um, Kiko. It has, like, you can see on his fingers are, like, about six fingers, but some of them, like, come out of the other, uh, out of, like, each other. And you can see a bunch of eyes and mouths all over the arm as you can see the robes it would be wearing are similar to a shrine maiden's robes with ropes tying uh, bound all over its body and you can see it's wearing a basket on its head that has eyes piercing through uh, all yokai like eyes that like you uh, you're used to that are yellow and you can see it's got this white gray hair uh, peeking out of the basket and as it like goes down its body they go from white to uh, red and like like blood red and like as like as you guys are like uh, looking at this this creature holding on Kiko, you look around and you can see more of the ruins of uh the ancient um uh, ancient Bakuran city and you can see warforged um scrambling towards uh with half um with no like uh with no legs crawling towards the creature and you can see yokai around as well, uh, Kappas, Suiko, and Shaban fighting away, and even a greater Shaban, the four-armed ones with the hammers, uh, fighting off these warforged that are trying to surround the basket hag. And Akiko is crying, and she, but like, no noise is coming from the portal. But you can, with your perception checks, you can just hear very faint echoes of uh, crying and fighting happening further on from within, and the heavy groan. Uh, of a loud mechanical creature that reverberates very loudly throughout the chains, much larger than the other yokai. Um, as like this is all happening, and you see Kira and Katsumi 
just run towards the portal and uh, try and like jump into it and you can just hear them both just shouting give her back give her back to us now come on give us it's she's not yours she's our sister give her back we have one here we have one and then the portal you see you see the creature let go of Kiko for a second but still like just holding her in place but like laying over her face and you see the portal like close up And I'm going to end the session there. So yeah, thanks, guys. thanks everyone for stopping by for session 15 of... Uh... <laughs> you guys Losing my mind. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I, I am speechless. I'm gonna take us out of uh, combat. And I'm gonna pull us. I can't believe you, Sam. Yeah. I can't. over here. I, I didn't have a choice. Oh my oh, god, I literally. <laughs> I swear. Like, she you never listened to me. You literally didn't have to start a fight and almost get fucking killed. But she never listens to me. Never. And somehow fighting people was gonna make it better? Well, she at least two. looked at me when I was talking to her. Oh, well done. Great communication. 10 out of 10. And, uh, I mean... I as can't deal with you. Well. you as <laughs> That's lo-fi boy, but like as a player, this, the... this party does nothing but cause me stress. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, we can fight that. Mm. But it's not a fight that I wanted. As you go to fight them? <laughs> <laughs> no, look, it's not death that I wanted. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Mm. A... Like, a and fight is a true. fight, I agree. But... Through all the interactions we've had with them, you didn't think they'd be fine with murdering you? <laughs> well, that's on them. <laughs> mm. It's true. That would be on them. I actually don't think that... No, I think they're good people to some extent. I think her being angry all the time is because she's conflicted. Yeah, but like, you didn't have to start a fight, you couldn't win. <laughs> <laughs> In a battle of stubbornness, like, I'm just saying, sometimes when the fight, like, goes beyond words, that's what happens mm. in a fantasy setting. <laughs> in a fantasy setting. <laughs> I, I will say, you have a very... Um, I have never wanted to punch you in the face and break your nose more than in this very moment right now. <laughs> I have That's to say, okay, I love you too. It's so anime of you though, like, ah, yes, fighting will fix this problem. And oh, they have, they have, they have pure heart, I can sense it. Like, I'm like, oh, you beautiful bastard. You, you fucking made me go and pull the fucking guilt trip card. <laughs> I mean, well, honestly, I'm glad you did because they weren't seeing it and it's actually what <laughs> they would- That's what they would be doing if you wouldn't do that. You fucking messaged me going, you can put me to sleep. Like, that wasn't <laughs> the first thing that came into my head to do, was to just knock you the fuck out so you could stop doing things. In my head, it's like, if you, if you did that, like, it's that, like, a Jojo meme of, like, where Abakio and, uh, and Nista and, um, the rancher just go to start just kicking this random stranger, and then you'd just, like, be sipping your wine, and then, then you'd start kicking the Shinto Lo-Fi boy as well. <laughs> it's just no, but for real, like honestly, I know that it has caused trouble, but I think that there's a potential now for a conversation that wouldn't have been possible 
if we would have been face palming for the past half hour. <laughs> I just want you to know this. All all this party does is start fights instead of they, conversations. They do. And I that's, that's the story. It, it, it causes me it causes me so much stress. <laughs> like I'm one person. I cannot heal and protect you all from not. your dumbass decisions. <laughs> I don't, but like I, I know. I'm sorry. I I know. At least it's you can kill that... innocent animals that are prone or edginess. He's already on thin fucking ice yeah. right now because L Lo is like, oh, he ate a spirit and now I don't know how to fucking feel about that. <laughs> With that, we're going to finish the session. And, and, uh, we're gonna go and I'm having a time, everybody. Yeah. So sorry. It's okay. Uh, if you've been enjoying this session and you want to catch us next time, we should be streaming June 19th. Uh, 8 p.m. BST. I'm so fucking excited. I, I told I told you guys this is going to be a session and a half. I know. And I'm so my 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 annoyances aside, I love you all. It was great. You guys I, are so if bad. I ever saw Sam in person, I'd kick him in the shit. Don't worry, I'll do for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. See you in the West much. Actually, that's a solid point because Sam actually did one. You mentioned I should have mentioned this as well. Um. Everything that's happened in this, this is the same setting as the West March that we do in the Discord. Uh, so I'm gonna like plug the Discord, which is a cool Dini and our community. But we also like the, the there's the West Marches, which is a community collaborative effort where you well where everyone partakes and adds to the World of Australia by playing in it. And um, so like a lot of like stuff that happens during these stream sessions of uh, Throne Top Sands has a lot of correlation with those West Marches and the West Marches. Likewise, a lot of events that like are happening in the in the various quests that are taking uh, place in the West Marches, weasel their way into the storyline in little ways. And like, if you want to be a part of that and shape this setting and be a part of the stream in more ways than one, hop in the Discord, join the West Marches, and well, uh, send me a character and we'll, we'll get you on there. Sam and George are also play, so like, you can even play with them because they're amazing players. <laughs> Some of the best. We play different people though. They do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Which probably makes it well to be fair, Robin is like just as weird and chaotic. <laughs> no, nah, well that's that that was Robin, but there's another side to get him. Mm. <laughs> the side that's play I play Tacky in the West Marches, who's a fighter, so I actually hit stuff in <laughs> Well yeah. So but like thank you. But like, if you also want, uh, like, uh, Rob, will you? Sorry, go on, Trisha, Sam. No, just thank you for sticking around with us in yeah. this crazy adventure. Thank you, thank you for seeing our yeah. multiple breakdowns yeah, today. Oh, what a what a session! I'm so excited to like just post <laughs> a lot of emotional session. damage. So man. I'm excited to watch this back. Mm. <laughs> if you want to see, me, uh, if you want to find more of Georgia stuff, uh, tell us about yourself before we bounce. Uh, I do art sometimes, not so much recently, but sometimes I draw stuff from here. I draw low sometimes, um, and I also make jewellery, and we'll soon be releasing a D&D &D themed series based on classes for the DM Rogan fighter currently. There will be more, but hopefully in the next month or so, that will be out for sale. So follow mm. my jewellery Instagram or Facebook, whatever. Um, for updates yeah uh, that's George Yamar's um, jewelry and on Etsy as well isn't it so like that's I don't have the link for that yet but yeah, go, go check it there you should be a link I died oh oh that's actually yeah like I, I, I put the crystal uh, samurai guardians in the uh, in a cave and uh, Rovo was like oh shit that's that's the same armor as uh, Takio I'm like oh my god oh that's, that's the connection that is and then Iva, so Jas was even playing to Iva, like Jas, Takio's brother was there. And then Takio, oh like, and Jas was like, wait, is it actually? Do I recognize this? And I thought, oh, don't worry, it's okay, you're safe, it's fine. <laughs> Imagine it's if you killed Taki, you didn't Off screen, yeah. tell me. <laughs> you actually died. By the way, the he's dead. Yeah. You actually died. Unless yeah. I got to play as a cool crystal skeleton, then the, yeah, the, I, I did say that. <laughs> Zoom back in on that because I'm really happy with this like handout of the uh, the ancient ruins of uh, Bacor um, of Isotope. But yeah, um, there is 
the West Marches, there's uh, George's uh, art. Sam, uh, tell us about yourself. Right. Um, I do have a Twitch channel, but most of the time, if you want to catch me, I'll be either playing here or just a guest appearing on stream. So the best way to really, really find me is to just join the Discord, because that's also a place where I hang out a lot. But uh, there is a Twitch if you want to go check it out, but don't. <laughs> like um yeah um honestly just uh, as always just thanks whether you're like chatting or liking or whatever it just always amazes me to be able to share this experience with all of you and mm. and i thank you for the inspiration because mm. i i will be needing it and and yeah oh you thought it carried over <sighs> But like with that, um, there's also my. If you've enjoyed the art that's appeared on stream, I I do the tokens, the handout art, the character art, the overlay and such. The maps are done by Two Minute Tabletop, uh, who do, do an amazing cartoon style um, set assets. And some fla uh, tokens are also done by Flower. Uh, the Vibin map and the old tokens. If you want to check out their stuff, you can uh, check them out on Art Station. Um, yeah, like and a lot of the art right now is mine. So if you want to check out more, there's my Instagram and my Twitter. Um, if you've enjoyed the session and want to actually catch up and see what's what's all happened, like how they got to this point, <laughs> go back and check the vods on YouTube. Uh, it's such a blast. Like we're actually rewatching them. Like like I've been like waiting so long to like finally watch the next session because like I've, I I really enjoy watching it. So if and like that's I mean that's bias, but like it's not at the same time. <laughs> it's it's not. Trust me. Okay. And if you do, <laughs> leave a comment, you yeah. know. Oh shit, yeah. yeah Tell nice. us what you think. Yeah. Yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Mm. I actually have a uh, YouTube brush. Yeah, I should I should use that for that. Um, <laughs> but also, yeah. So yeah, if uh, and if you've been watching the VOD uh, lurking or just hanging out, thank you so much for giving me your time and thank you for giving my players. Uh, your time and uh, engaging with it, saying, using the lair actions, uh, giving them inspiration, healing them uh, when they needed healing, and uh, just just vibing with all the drama. Because gosh, these they were dramatic a lot. <laughs> um, we're gonna raid into Tavern Talks, uh, who are a subsidiary of uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What is that? What? Is that? <laughs> boy. No, 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 the seasonal bars. That's <laughs> true, ah. that's always it's fun being background evil. I, I appreciate you using the lair actions. You, like, you add so much to the drama. It's, it's some good stuff. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, we're going to write Tavern Talks. They're, um, it's a, a kind of like a recap show that, like, focuses on, like, Grudge Cash content, uh, who are a, a part of the circle that we're a part of um, over here on Twitch, D&D uh, &D Twitch. And uh, they do some really cool stuff. Some of the, some of my favorite DD content. So if you want to go watch more, stick around on Tavern Talks because they're going to raid into the Grash Catch stream. But also give Tavern Talks a follow because like it's the same uh, same group. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to raid that. We're going to drop the raid messages. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, and hopefully we'll see you next session. Thank you. Our next stream will be on Tuesday, uh, 8 p.m. BST. We'll be doing art, probably some TAS art. We'll see what's up. Yeah. Uh, if not, we'll hopefully we'll see you next session on June nineteenth, I think, eight PM BST. But if not, oh yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Bye. Bye. I'm not